Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the second half of our show tonight. Our heroes have just made it through the vault of Heracator and have made it inside a sheer reality. After grave warnings were... Quite a snake. For... <laughs> yes, you, you did fight a snake. And you did also not heed great warnings upon the future. And now you are here in some kind of pond with an eerie sense of calm. What is the blade doing? The shard. Is it uh, similar? Same, same thing as before. Yeah. I'm not really sure what I expected, huh. but um, this was not it. Nor I. This wasn't what happened last time. Naga will try to summon Nibbles again, see if there's that still time. There's still there that time distillation that's happening. Uh, magic fizzles, kind of. Magic fizzles. Yeah. Is the well, is that us? magic? Oh, is, is there no rift now? There's no rift. I'll cast Prestigitation, see if I can, like, create, like, a small bead of flame in my fingers. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, okay. It's like the, the okay. conjuration thing didn't really work. All right. I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I'd work this out or how any of us work this out, but is there any way of us discerning whether this is the same plane that we, that we were on initially? Well, what I don't know does I would be? think... Um, Aus probably thinks new, uh, considering where he went last time he went through one of these portals. Um, but this seems a lot more put together. But then, you know, demi planes and, and separated planes can do that. So, um, hmm. Actually, I think there would be a way of me doing it. Could I tap into my Hexblades curse and see if it's still up on the basis that I don't believe it would work across planes? The um, the snake was uh, the snake was dead to, anyway. Was, so to go ahead and heal. By so the way, shit. Oh yeah, thank you. Um, uh, right, no, that's uh, but I, yes. But I guess I you, didn't get the I didn't get the transfer yeah, section off. So yeah, no, yeah. No, I no. guess you would be able to do that when and if you come back. Okay, no worries. Um, that's uh oh well, I'm out of ideas. Uh, okay. And this room is 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 this a room that we're in? Is it open past these pillars? Uh, no, it's a cave. Yeah, it's a cave. It's a cave. Sorry. Okay. Nago looking around is this uh, obviously Nago's like plane jumped a few, quite a few times. Um, uh, he'll kind of e e explore like the lily pads and uh, is is the water kind of up against the bridge as well? Yeah, yeah. Like when you're on the bridge, you are standing in like one or two inches of water okay i'll reach down and i'll grab the water i'll see if the like, is this is, is this a plane that i'm familiar with go ahead and give me a religion check. religion uh 29. there's nothing inherently in this like in the in the matter or the things in here that would suggest that like it is very large like these lily pads are huge right mm -hmm. The architecture and the general layout. Sorry, come. On. Yeah, I will say that, but there's nothing inherently in the matter. Like it, it doesn't have. Like you can usually tune into the arcane frequency of a lot of things, and and figure out where they're oriented, uh, in relation to the prime material plane. You don't really find any kind of arcane signature here. You are muted somehow. Sorry, I'll share that with the party. The um the architecture in this room, in terms of the pillars, in terms of the uh, the carved serpent head, is this in keeping with what we've seen in the other Kangundian, you know, ziggurats, etc. Yeah, definitely. And as you saw, Heracles Hall being like a city of water, with a bunch of aqueducts and stuff like that, you're pretty sure this could look like something in inside of that. These big white pillars and the yellow thing, yeah, again, and and the yellow kind of sculptures on it seems very much. Like something that could be found and, in like a great temple or something. We're in a cave. There's a lot of water in here. Is there a source of, from the water that's coming in? Is the water just is the water rising like it was in the previous room? No, or it's is it not just rising. Still water. But you see a few streams from the roof, kind of just going down okay. into the water. 
here, here, and here, and here. Mm -hmm. pa perhaps we should approach. I agree. I think this, uh, whatever this is, this is what we came here for. I had a bit of a strange experience when interacting with that door, but it seems that whatever brought us the nurse to you here is, well, this is it. Nongle will, you... Nongle will kind of lay down and like look underneath these pads to see, make sure there's nothing kind of hiding under them. Piranhas. No, like it's like on, in there. on the bridge, right? Because they're probably floating on top of the water. The water is like a few inches off the bridge, right? I just want to make sure there's nothing like waiting for us as we cross this bridge. No, a shoe kind of uh, wading through the water, like species around your shoes. No, it seems quite benign. You seem stressed, Nongol. You do not feel the calmness in this place. Uh, that's what I'm worried about. When you feel a calmness in a place, it's usually when it's not. Agreed. The calmest I've been is when I know what's going on. And right here, I do not know what's going on. Agreed. Torgan, you mentioned something about a, a watcher. Am I, am I right? Am I correct in it saying? Is, it is um, well, one of many things. There's many aspects of the dog. The watching dog is one of them. There was. It's strange. I had a strange experience, but I don't know. I think something is looking for you, Aust, and what you carry. I don't Who is know it? the exact... <laughs> I don't know the nature of it, but it certainly seems that you're dealing with uh, more than meets the eye. That's understandable. I only ask as um, the second, to, the first to last line of the uh, inscription on the door: "The watchers remain if must remain if undisturbed." I wonder if that's some way related. But there's only one way to find out, chaps. Yeah, let's head so, forward. Um, onwards. No way back. So only one way forward. And bring Great. up on the big little pad. What about Theus and Bjorn? Uh, what do you make of this, Theus? <sighs> I really don't like when the party goes. I don't like you having, like, cutting off your arm. I don't what like do this here. Well, this is surely a place of the gods. I don't Great, really a like of when... Great Destiny Theus. Here. Herein lies where we must Yo, tread. Yon, on our way it, to look at, look at your arm. Yon, look at your arm. He looks down. What, what there, do you mean? There's the cannon on that. Yeah, it's he, he shows you the cannon holding it in both his arms. Yes, and Wait, did he cut off his arm and put his skin no. like this? No, no, no we no, kind of no. backtracked. Okay. Oh, yeah, we backtracked on that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, he doesn't, he didn't, he didn't cut off his arm. He is, like, the the cannon is a weapon, like, it's basically a big, like, a big, a big flamethrower that is also used as a maul. He, um, he pranked it. us, basically. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah. Well, because yeah. I, I, I don't like it when our party gets some kind of higher talk. I didn't like it when you were there in hell and then someone else was telling us what to do and I don't like it currently what is happening here with us and Torgan. That's like, fully understandable, Mr. Fierce, but I'm sure we can all remember when you turned into a giant death mummy. Multiple yeah, times. Yeah, and you saw... Well, this is something that is innate. I don't like it when we are given something that is way above our understanding. So you were born with that power. Wait, I'm sorry, I have to. I was kind of educated. Death I was kind of educated in that. Did, did I hear that right? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, Theus has a tendency when he's upset or, or something's wrong to turn into some sort of other creature. Pe yes, some pencil wielding death resort. god. It's a last resort, and this is not something that I was given. Something I was trained to do, and this was something innate. And I don't really like it when we get mm -hmm. power from something from places that we can't understand. Interesting. So, Mr. Nongle, um, is your power innate or was it learnt? What's my power learnt? I'm a wizard. No, your, your mastery of the arcane. 
I studied for years! Hundreds Excellent. of years! Excellent. Well, and you know, I I will admit, rather dropped into my hands somewhat, but I did go looking for it. And, um, Mr. Torgan, uh, well, sounds like you woke up with these powers. Well, I did wake up with this book what? technically one day. This book teaches me spells that other wizards cannot cast. So, let us keep an open mind, shall we? Because whilst and powers can be an innate, open learned, book. or bestowed upon us, that does not mean that they're all the same. I'm sure at one point, and I apologize for this, for this in advance, Mr. Bjorn, but I'm sure at one point he was not quite as strong as he is now. So, so he was a baby at one point of time. Yes, yes. albeit I'm sure a jacked baby. That would probably be yeah. quite strong, baby. I agree. Yes. When yes. I was four, I I strangled my first goat. So yes, Bjorn waits out in the in the. There room. we go. See the that typical of the north. <laughs> oh, this I I could understand. see I could see that in a in a in a in a in a, in a Cthulian fresco actually. You know, a small, incredibly muscular child wrestling a goat. But I don't know. Apart from the Cthulian thing, I'll take that as a compliment. Bets on me. It was quite a large God's goat blessed. as well. Yes. <clears throat> um. Roar, I'll, I'm gonna. Noggle's gonna look up at these uh, uh, ropes here. Like, can I kind of tell what they're made out of? How high are they? Can you give me a description? Like, why are they tied to this creature, or to this sculpture? A few things at a time. You're looking at that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, Bjorn turns around to the instances. My friend, I'm sure everything we need answers to will be given to us. Answers are fine. I'm worried about what else is given to us. So what would you rather? Go go back? No, I just want our, all of us to be aware when we are getting things that we usually have no idea where it comes from. I believe this is our means of finding out where it came from. This part of the course for me, this has been my entire yeah. life's work, is to go in, into the unknown and collect information. And I'll, I'll, I'll be the first to say it. It's been at least a week since we've, you know, created a hell portal into a city. So, you know, anything can be, you know, it's got to be better than that. Well, just over, but it's about time we Talking, do it again. If we didn't tell you before, we created a hell portal into a city. But I think that anyway. one you did actually gloss okay. over, which was Sounds. terrifying, but yes. Okay. Yes, we ran. Then we went to hell. It, should, it was not us who did it. It was it was the it was the face. Certainly, but we were a mild accessory. Anyway, um, onwards. I'm gonna. Um, Alice is gonna keep moving um, along well, I, I, until I, he I, kind I, of I'm, gets I'm, underneath this kind of or just in the shadow of the serpent head. Nogle serpent, jump behind this there. flower. <laughs> Talking, serpent you should probably approach as well. Fifteen feet ahead of uh, above you. Uh, the rope seems like they're made of some kind of of ceremonial cloth. Okay. Uh, it seems like fine kind of uh, fabric uh, uh, knitted uh, into a myriad of, of different colors. Kind of like a... Definitely seems ceremonial. Theus, are you, are you standing behind or are you flying I'm over there? standing behind a pillar around 50 feet away from the party. On my broom. All right, and and the uh, the gem that's in the uh, the center of the head of the serpent. Can we get a good look at that from where from the distance we're at? I mean, probably not me because my perception's like four. No, you. But... Not we're standing there, but it looks like it's blue. Okay, but it's it's just it's just blue in there. It's not like pulse, pulsing, shining, giving off light, etc. How far up is it? Fifteen feet, you said. Uh, 15, 15 feet to the to to like the lip of it, right? If I was to cast uh, Misty Step, could I get up to the the skull of the creature? Sure. All right, now I shall do that. All right, you Misty Step up, boom. Uh, go ahead and give me a Dex save. A Dex save? Okay. Yeah. Uh, twenty. <laughs> you you kind of have to regain your footing as the head begins to move suddenly. As as the big stone statue kind of slowly moves. Ah, fireball! Kind of... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and kind of rears its, its head. Um, you can feel yourself being picked up by an unseen force and kind of put down gently in front of the in front of it. Here. 
as looks down upon you and first you hear uh, a language you don't understand perhaps he needs a breath mint I can't even tell I was expecting it gentlemen the door is closing and I see no windows so we I speak suggest. common great statue ah perfect well, well is it time already perhaps time so for it is you it is you who bear it is no, you the, who bear our the, sin the bear is back dust. there that's the bear uh, apparently so it looks like at you, like with big sad eyes. I am, I am Nongle. What is your name? Hold on. Great beast. Me. I am Heralias. I am the Watcher behind the veil. Once in a lifelong past, I was. I was the chief cleric of my people. Who are your people? Does Heraleus ring a bell? No. Oh, I'd probably... No, okay. You would have no basis to, to learn that. Right, okay. Um, I am... of the Kangundi people, of course. She cleric of... Which Kangundi people? The Great Brotherhood of the Cold-Blooded Folk in the Jungle. Oh, lizard we folk. built a large civilization of fire and stone, steel and steam, magic and science. Ah, Th Theus, remember the switches that we were flicking on and off at this, the old temple? Well, they did nothing. It was a bit unimpressive, honestly. Well, no, we... Yeah, like, we've looked in, like, 20 times on after. That's probably we, changed, we changed what happened downstairs, and there was the, the strange things inside the, uh, the, uh, the temple there. I oh, you mean the, like, the, 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 the... steam bath. Uh, well, yeah, excellent. steam, like... So yes. They did something bad, yeah. They did something really bad. Yes, well, excellent to meet you, uh, Heralius. Uh, my name is Nongle. And uh, this uh, is my, uh, these are my traveling companions, if they would be so kind to introduce themselves. Is this what we're doing now? It looks... At well, he seems friendly enough. All right. Um, yes, I'm Torgan. Um, hello. Torgan. Torgan introduces himself as well. Probably a long rant about how many things he's killed. <sighs> <laughs> well, I'm oust, but that's not the most, you know, pressing thing about me, probably, in your opinion. No, because if you are all here, it means that the time has come. Believe me, sounds like many times have been coming in the last few days. Uh, so, uh, almost a great unmaking sounds to be on the horizon, but uh, then again, it sounds like also endings... Uh, yes, you know. the great wheel. Proceed beginnings. Forever and ever it will turn. The same thing shall pass and pass. And for all eternity, things shall be as they were. And they shall have been as they will be again. They don't have to be. The great cosmic circle, Mr. House. It is inevitable. I prefer to see it as a lens. I see. Now, the way is blocked, apparently, and assuming you are the Watcher, and you should remain undisturbed, we've broken that. So what do you block? What way is this? I try to keep that thing, it gestures towards the shard, from reaching its full potential. Those eyes go that brass and look it, up to its forehead. Uh, no, <laughs> it, it it gestures at, at Aust's. Oh, blade. oh, okay. We imprisoned that thing just before we imprisoned ourselves and doomed our people. 
Your people. That you're doomed. I hear them. I know. Just as the circle itself will keep turning, then so are you inevitable. And if not you, another you. And if not There's that, always one, another. another me. In fact, there's been multiple me's. And that's another thing entirely. Yes. I'm not going to stop you because I know that is meaningless. Mm. You will do as you will do. The only thing I can is to give you at least a context for what you hold within your hands. I beg you to do so. Right. I will try to explain as good as I can. I just see around you kind of the cave wall kind of dims out of view and you see like a large cosmos with nebulae and kind of galaxies spinning beautiful colors of you know space itself we are but motes of dust in the giant universe galaxies planets moons asteroids celestial bodies speeding through the endless eternity turning always turning as time ticks away sand goes through the hourglass in this void meaning itself was forged within the heart of the stars the titans arose from the cradle of energy itself and you see like a big star kind of hatch this huge kind of almost like a space shark large flagella kind of uh, seeking out matter as it begins to kind of eat things it is the size of not a sun right but it's the size of size of maybe a city or something it is truly ma massive as it kind of flows through like past your right it search forever of the one thing it never knew it could only create itself and you kind of see how this leviathan basically roams alone in the endless space of time and and uh, time space there we go until it just at some point it just lies down on on a, a planet and dies but from its skin and its kind of its its matter you begin to see kind of small green matter begin to form and with time you see plants trees foliage flowers big fields and huge forests kind of mountain ranges begin to form over time as as a as life is created you see creatures you see beautiful beautiful kind of uh, animals bird flocks of birds you see dinosaurs and mammals and all things and then at some point you see the first kind of humanoid creatures begin to stand up make tools build their civilizations you see the whole context of creation happening in the matter of of seconds it is magic itself that creates what we are but the fundamental and the mental forces of the universe are held within these titans from their flesh we found our souls our livelihoods itself sprout but our innate connection to the cosmos is but a part of a their cycle and we can to see how these these um like you can see other leviathans other titans begin to kind of emerge but they they it's like they can't see this planet they're like they are they are out that they're, they're blind sometimes they meet each other and kind of they might mate but it's not like they, they they're not feeding they're, they're like they they atrophy they're, there's no sustenance for them at one point of this planet, these 
these kind of people, they begin to come together and they begin to, to, uh, they carve a big statue, a big rock, and they begin to have ceremonies. And you begin to see kind of small silvery uh, specks of, of light kind of connect them. And from that collective consciousness, you begin to see other planes, other worlds kind of exist in parallel dimensions. And you see a small untethered light kind of begin to shine, but also a small untethered darkness begins to kind of bloom. And as time goes on and the civilization grows bigger, goes more sophisticated, these lights, they evolve from being kind of balls of energy to becoming one a mountain with beautiful, beautiful clouds and like always a beautiful sunset behind it. And you see a community of individuals, almost caricatures in their way of acting and being once extremely strong and masculine, wearing the pelt of a big predator, another uh, old old man wise uh, with a long beard, kind of uh, uh, seeing to be like the father figure and his wife is the mother figure and kind of all these kind of pretty, pretty uh, 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 universal family unit roles that we see begin to form and they begin to interact in indirectly with these civilizations and on the other side of the darkness you see you see uh, the opposite happen you see evil like this shadow the more hellish side of cosmos kind of evolving and you see as these people begin to die the souls kind of goes either way as as these things uh, as religion in 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 function begins to happen. Ah, yes, the gods, always hungry, always there, a true product of our own imagination, our own will to create meaning within chaos and meaninglessness itself. This here is the great circle because as you see the gods begin to evolve and you see the other planar kind of entities begin to think, uh, to, to, to do things, you begin to see how these titans, these leviathans suddenly begin to sense these planets, these civilizations. And at some point, like a big crab-like leviathan kind of finds one of these populated planets that has grown from the carcass of one of its predecessors and it begins to kind of feast upon the magical kind of sentient life of the planet. All of this we found out too late. And scene changes and you see a massive sprawling cityscape, jungle kind of in its midst. You see skyscrapers and trains and and uh, like uh, horse carts and animatronic animals and electricity with like lights that turn on and off on its own and spell uh, spell casters kind of doing things you see a great metropolis and in its back uh, with all the aqueducts and kind of waterfalls you see the cigarette of Herakatol itself you see hundreds of slaves lined up on the steps of the cigarette illicit folk kind of soldiers with uh, with rifles are are flanking their um the uh, the columns of the slaves as you see on the top, you see coaddle kind of priests in long, wide robes having a ceremony where a big, kind of, a big bronze scale of lizard is, is holding like a big, a big, uh, a big, uh, a big blade. And as they are carving out the hearts of these slaves, these, but also some of them lizard people, some worthy sacrifices to the gods as the water falls down the, uh, the cigarette itself comes colored red with the blood of the offerings of the gods. We knew you, not what we knew when we made our decisions. But we knew that our gods were real, created magic for us to utilize, to create, to be judged when we were good or we were bad. The gods craved blood, craved devotion, 
And so we sacrifice to them. Every year, hundreds of souls. Every year, we would hold our great parades of glory to the gods. But we had been deceived because underneath all of it, deep underneath the dwarf, uh, the, the bowels of the Underdark, lies the first Titan of Serenar, the first Leviathan. You can see how these souls kind of all are revolving in like a space which is neither in the prime material or the outer planes. Here. As our finest scientists and theologians and arcanists work together, we discovered the origins of our kind, of every kind. And we saw that our sacrifices had been misguided. Our God, the Titan itself, and all of the things that we had given to it it might awaken once again. We had to do something. But our people, they all believed. They, all, they were all devoted. They had faith. And in time, we would nourish our own under. We are our own doom. But not only our peoples, but all the peoples and future peoples of our planet. And so, we convened, and you see like a big <laughs> gathering of these large caudal priests as they are all crying and in realization of of their doom, basically. So we decided to do the only thing we could. Our sacrifices, all of the powers, all of the lives that we had given, we would take them back. We launch them into the Leviathan gate and seal them within the soul, the, the soul shards. We created the green doom, which you hold now. The untold thousands of souls, not just sacrificed, but also the magic potential, the devotion, the intellect of our people sacrificed at once and locked away. If it was let loose and given to the beast, there would have been no way of knowing. There would have been no way of protecting us. We had been deceived. How did we knew? There was only a matter of time. For you came. For someone was seduced by the power of the sacrifice, of our sacrifice, of all the untold thousands of souls willing, wishing to fulfill their purpose. Purpose is a funny thing, isn't it? it when is. you think about it. <laughs> so many people just Willing, begging to worship. Makes you think. Makes you think if it wasn't that that they were worshipping. It was something else. What do you mean? Could be jolly powerful, wouldn't it? Just a thought. Thousands in... Just... Actually... Let's put this another way. Barely a week ago, we saw a god born. <laughs> another. Another one of those motes of light. And that was a couple of hundred sailors over the course of a couple of hundred years. Think what thousands of people could do to one person, all worshipping them at the same time. You are right. I did see the creation of the White Maiden. 
the deification of that symbol. But it was not the faith of the few hundred sailors that sparked her to life. No. It might have kept her alive in a chrysalis of faith. But it was the shard that birthed her. Mm. Such is the power of what you hold in your hands. It was the it, shard, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. In untold realities, Oust, the bearer of the shard has failed and failed again until they all reach this point. And this point isn't a point, as far as I realize. It is not. It is out of time. Because I keep dying because every time that I get stabbed, split, bludgeoned, burnt, frozen, electrocuted, turned into goo, I'm still here. You are. I'm still another one of me. We just bump ourselves down the line and then it's still me. You're right. You are as much sacrifice as they are. You are the convergence of the will mm. of those you bear. But from this point in time, there's nothing more to watch. From here, my guess is that you are free to do what you wish. Yes. Yes, I am. You speak much of the past. Things that have yes. happened, or these titans and whatnot, and, well, there's no titans where we come from. There's no, yeah. no damnation where we come from. Are you saying that there will be again? Great suffering. The great extermination happened many thousand years ago, but long after we were buried, we were buried and gone. Right. Torgan. Some... And I can't remember how much you've actually said out loud about this. You spoke of something, watching something coming. I believe. Yes, something that seemed to be particularly interested in what I assume to be you, or what you carry. Deep in the dark, something. Something waking? Uh, something so you deep. said, you said the Dark Lord, like he, the, the Lurking Dark said the Dark Lord, which to you probably would not suggest something as massive as Leviathan or Tyson. I would relay this. Is that a term that means anything uh, from... It might mean something to Theus. Dark Lord? Yeah. A Dark Lord who has who has made darkness his, his tool? Yeah. Uh, a sun is above. That's what this Dark Lord refers to. I've only pack... known what. Go on. I have only known what he showed outside, what he wanted to teach, with many teachings, what he wanted. What his vision of the world should be. In that, I never came upon really what he has in store of, like, of that scale that you described. If he's so interested in what house carries, at least he must have some idea of the scope or the possibility at the very least. What oh, you I'm not bear sure he knows. has the potential to create divinity from where there is only very little. Hmm. Does. You... Exciting. We 
I have seen how our planet, our peoples, the ones that took up after us, after our cold-blooded brethren were left unintelligent and fractured in the wilds of Kangundi. We have done all we can to defend themselves. The truth is known out there, the deepest darkness. In all religions, they teach of the end times, because they are certain. There will be a battle. It will not be against evil and good, but it will be order and chaos, entropy and existence itself. And then that thing, order, is your own hope. We sealed our faith away to keep it from chaos itself. And now we beg that you use it to create order. If Serena is to persist, then we will need gods to defend our civilizations against what other thing, or against what comes from the outside, from the deep echoes of the void. Persistence is a very soaked word, a word soaked in blood, amongst many other things. Persistence as it is now, Saranara as it is now, today, or Saranara as a concept. As a concept. Correct answer. I do not care for kings and empresses. I... We only wished that the beautiful rivers, the fields, the trees, the birds, the potential of life and thought itself. Serenal has protected itself, but it is only a matter of time before one shows up. It might not be now, or it might not be in a thousand, thousand years, but for one, sometime, a titan will sniff the remnants of the, of the divine here. And if we have nothing, nothing has the power to protect our little rock against the entropy beyond. Well, one thing I know is that every legend comes true, every myth and every rumor will happen, and not someday in the future, but here and now. You are right. The wheel turns and turns. But wheels move things forward. And thus, if we are the instruments to do such, if we are the fulcrum upon which this wheel will move the axle, the light in which will pass through said lens, and so be it. As strange as it might be to say, Herileus, I am in agreement. Gods are created mm. from the community, the communal belief of what is right and what is wrong. It means gods cannot be killed. They can only be snuffed out if no one believes in what is right and what is wrong anymore. For thousands of years, your wizards have purged the realm of religion itself in a misguided attempt to protect what they could not. Their own was... weak facsimile, facsimile of divinity. Yes. Quaint. You must find the new gods. They are out there, in small and big scale, as morality creates what is images of the supreme. It's not just a case of finding them. In some cases, it may be a case of making them. You are, again, correct. Get enough people on one side and they'll do anything. Always been the way. Difference is this time it won't be a tranquil pillar, a conventicle. You're talking about a war you have yet to fight. It's coming. Well, I. 
a I horn is yet to be sounded. Isn't that correct, Bill? Ah, yes. The Kelahorn. Do you know where that is? Do yes. tell. You do. I do. It is the very... You put it so elegantly. The fulcrum upon the rose axis I revolve. When you take it from here, I will cease to exist. And the watchers will cease to watch. And for the first time, the future and the fate of Serena will be uncertain. The time for watchers will end, and those who have to do will take their place. But be wary of sullen and seductive voices from underneath what is in our souls. Somewhere underneath the waves and the bedrock. They never die. They only hibernate to sleep for eternity. If you are to be uncareful. You will wake it up, and calamity is assured. Hmm. Well, the one thing a lens doesn't want to be is shattered, so we'll avoid it at all costs. I appreciate this. I also know that I await my fate. Do you have any questions for me? The voices. I have a limited viewpoint from here. Yes. The voices of the shard. Will they remain? Is this a until burden they, to bear? Until they have, have fulfilled their purpose, then yes. But it is then up to you to decide what that purpose can be. If it is not to feed something much more dark and destructive than what we can afford. Of course. Is there any way of communicating with them more directly? I think that is a question you are better off asking yourself. Fair point. Hmm. And you say this horn is here? Yes. Or am I misunderstanding? Excellent. You well, already saw the hilt of it from my forehead. Ah, of course. Blue. Should have known. Well, Herolaeus, you've stood vigilant for a long time. And a being gets tired. I sleep. Accepted my fate. A sleep is earned. Although, if you would be willing to add your voice to the uh, cacophony, it would be welcomed as a guiding force, somewhat. I have spent an eternity in servitude, and I will gladly spend a few more days, or years. I accept this offer. Then I will pledge now that once it all is done, you shall have your freedom. Your, freedom. your further eternity of sleep or whatever takes your fancy. We shall see what will remain and what will become. We Freedom is a porous substance. Hmm. I think a bit more is a non-Newtonian fluid, but yes. Ah, uh, yes, the great lizard scientist, Newton. Yes. Newton. Uh, I believe it's actually Newt on. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. I've got the pun, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
cool. Just, 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 just checking. Just checking. Well, can we take the home with us, or is it stuck up there? It will release itself when you are ready. You, he gestures to you, Nongon. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, yes. You bear upon you modes of existence from many worlds. I've, I've, I've traveled quite a bit, yes. Collecting air miles or whatnot. <laughs> uh, what of it, Hilarious? But I have not seen you. Uh, no, you have but... never appeared in any of the images of the past that I, we have watched from here. Well, no, because I'm not from the past. I was actually born quite a while after uh, all of you uh, decided to go into hiding or whatnot. No, no, we have watched from here the last many hundred years. Well, apparently not me. You are an enigma to me, Uncle. That's, you don't have to know everything. I'm, I'm sure you no. don't know everything. You don't have to know everything about me. Know that I travel with Ost, and uh, I support his decisions. So, great lord, hilarious. Um, I don't I know. I sense some great sorrow in you. Sorrow? And I hope that you find solace in the journey you're upon now. Is the right one. Right. Thank you, hilarious, great chief cleric of Kingundi, lord of the cold-blooded ones, old lord of the cold-blooded ones. You really hold no rule here now, do you? No. Well, it is sad and blood that and echo you... of a misguided past. It's sad that you're not known anymore, but I am a bit of a historian myself. I could spread your word if you'd like. I care not for fame, nor glory, nor recognition only. Oh, you speak much of it to not claim to want it. How do we claim that sword from your head, though? It's a horn, it's not a sword. You simply grasp it. Oh, fine. Well, uh, I know that uh, Bjorn was looking for that, so... And it um, occurs to me that if we do indeed have a great many gods to create, one that doesn't want the power at all, could be a more level-handed deity in which to deal with. So, Hiralaeus, it may be that your, your watchfulness, albeit amended, changed, reforged, Refocused. <laughs> We're going to give you an inside check with advantage, uh, regardless of uh, of uh, your uh, your exhaustion. You see a flicker. You see a, f a flicker of fear for a short moment, like across the big stone serpent's face. Duty, Herolaus, is a burden, is a burden, not a gift. But that is your choice to make, not mine. Because as you said, freedom is fluid, but I happen to be very in favor of it. So, if nobody else has anything to question, our ancient accomplice here. Let I us actually... take the horn. I actually have a question for you, Aust. I am hearing you talk a lot in circles of uh, purpose and possibility, but I don't still quite understand what exactly it is you hope to gain from all of this. Change. You've, hear, you've heard it enough whilst we've been here. Things are a cycle. Things are broken, remade the same. Onwards and onwards and onwards. I merely seek to shift the route in which we are traveling. In favor of us all, one would hope. <laughs> but, nonetheless.
whether it goes right or wrong, it sounds like we're in the same boat one way or another. And it sounds like our uh, our individual, uh, shall we say, objectives are aligned with this. You need a hell of a lot more gods to take spirits to an underworld where the rivers run dry. So, Nongol, Fierce, Bjorn, Torgan. Don't think we've got anybody else with us, have we? No, nope, that's just us. Are we ready? Ready for you know, to take the horn and leave, right? Hmm. With your permission, Hilarious. Of course. It, and it kind of... I believe it's pronounced hilarious. It kind of, uh, as you take a few steps back, it, it nods down to kind of present its forehead. Uh, great uh, snake god, do you want me to uh, do the honors? Says Bjorn. <laughs> yes. And Bjorn kind of grasps the hilt of the horn. And in a flash of blue magic, he pulls. Until a pristine silver horn with like a blue glow um appears in his hand kind of materialized in blue flash of magic once how we see each other again speak and soon the great snake kind of crumbles <laughs> into rubble as you see this reality begins slowly like to kind of flicker in and out of existence you probably have a few seconds until you're sent back. If you want to exchange words or do anything, that would be uh, that would be the time. I feel like I have more questions than answers. Good. Um, let's see here. I will. Can I cast a spell on everyone right now? Sure. All right, cool. I'll cast a, um, yeah, I'll cast a six level mass cure wounds on the party. Hi. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to, to as this sort of stone thing grum uh, crumbles, if there is a part of it that's kind of fairly palm sized and as intricate as possible, I will grab that. You grab a piece of rubble with some of the carvings from the outside. So everyone grabs 19 hit points. Awesome. Bjorn is very happy about that. So am I. I keep healing in 19s, but that's fine. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, another crappy roll. Fuck. I mean, do... that's that's most of my health still, so it's fine. Yeah. It's because I targeted you I rolled low. God damn it. You are really cursed. <laughs> I really am. Are you, so are you doing anything specific? No, I just, I keep, I keep a distance, just in case I. Okay. I think as, um, as things are crumbling, I think Tolkien is kind of just staring at, at the mark on his arm, kind of contemplating. Does there still seem to be any sense of purpose or identity to it, or did that fade when we entered this place? Uh, your like your brand? Mm, yeah. No, your your brand. Mm, there's so much to learn about the darkness itself. It seems but you don't token. get. But you don't. But you don't get the. Uh, but you don't get the sense that the dark is entirely chaotic or orderly in nature. Neither really watches. Be. These watches are gone. We're still going to need one around, by the sounds of it, just to keep tabs on the uh, old big fella downstairs. So uh, that is the part that makes me wonder. As you I'm are our, our silent defender, our dark knight. <laughs> I just wanted to say when you when the the darkness spoke to Torgan, 
I had to help myself back when he said, I'm the darkness, that, to say I'm Batman. I'm Batman. <laughs> he might as well you are, As you are talking, as you're you mocking Togan, reality kind of shifts back. And, uh, <laughs> and we're, we're, back in, we're back in the initiative, guys. All oh, right, so this this is the thing that was happening. You kind of find yourself back. I believe we may have overstayed our welcome in this temple. Mm. Shall we? Yes. Right. Just forward. run or ask Storm. Mm. Um, run, but you know, Bjorn, do what you do best. Hit anything that's not in the that's in the way. Sure. Be ready and to adapt. I think Bjorn... we might be swimming soon. Bjorn, Bjorn it goes into rage and dashes up there. And that would be his turn. All right, Nongu, you're up. Oh god, why am I moving? I shouldn't have moved. Oh my god. I'll take it back. Oh, sorry, Nongu is looking at a spell book. Of course I don't prepare Dim Door. Why would I do that? That'd be stupid, right? God damn it. Um, don't go run up. Theus, I have room on that broom, I hope. I ha even have the mansion door. <laughs> Perfect. I'll jump on the broom and then I will. Uh, uh, you, can, I will... Uh, you can definitely fireball the terracotta warrior next to Furo if you want to. Nah, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is because I don't uh, trust Ost. Understandable. Oh. oh. Actually, hang on. So I was here, so I'll do this first. I will uh, touch Ost, and then I will run up to Theus. Oh, in that way. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you just meant just generally. Sorry. No, I'm nice. going to give you Death War because you die a lot. Yeah, so. because I'm made of paper. <laughs> uh, he's also invisible. I still have great invisibility on him. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, I can't still guess invisible. Yeah. Uh... You touch a creature. Oh, yeah. Drop yeah. A question. If if two people are invisible, can they see each other? No. <laughs> yeah, sure. For some reason, you can see each other. <laughs> Why not? It's just I mean, they have to see you. I just like, touch you, right? I, I, so I have yeah. I have devil sight, and he can just see through just anything. So <laughs> if there's one, if there's two people in this party that can see through, <laughs> it's us two. Nago starts to cast a spell and just yeah. starts doing this, reaching out. Finally, he touches something. He's like, Ah, there. Hopefully, that's Ost. Bye. <laughs> Runs off. <laughs> Um, Why not roll me a, a 1d20? Uh, no, oh no, did you touch nothing else? You're gonna teleport to me instead. Uh, I'm doing it. Five. No, no, it, it was, it was, it was Nango. If you roll oh, five oh, or less, Togan has death ward. Togan, you have death ward. Togan has okay. <laughs> Great. Instead of me, or? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh oh. thank you, I guess. You're welcome, Ost! <laughs> bye, Ost! That was definitely Ost! <laughs> Bye-bye! By the yes, way, Alex, awesome. uh, before I forget, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, and take some uh, some inspiration. Sure thing. Oh, that's beautiful. You had you added some you dangled some very juicy bait in front of us there. That's what I'm saying. But there we go. No. Right. Um. Okay. Okay. Water rises with three feet. All right. Oh, Morgan, you're up. So I know that. I, yeah. I, I was just thinking. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm just. Uh, I'll, I'll turn to. I was staring very intently at why he's invisible. Are yeah, you we're both be... just squinting really hard at each other. Just... Are you gonna be fine, or do you need a hand? You know, with all of that. Get the other elf. I'll get Professor Ignatius. I mean, I was more worried about our own, but all right, one problem at a time, I suppose. I'll be fine. Just in case, and I'm gonna... I've got thousands, but hang me up. Well, I'm not sure it's quite that simple, but at least I can do something. And I'm going to uh, twin cast haste on myself and Alist. Oh, hey! Because oh, I think uh, a bit of speeds is going to be uh, important. Quick boy! Nice. Uh, you will, you will uh, take out your uh, six level... Uh... Yeah, uh, that's the spirit guardian. Yeah, that's yeah, cool, acceptable. 
I was right. gonna lose more health as I am. Wild magic surge is good. So are, are you are you keeping up your threshold? Uh, all right, I've updated. Uh, there we go. And I will just use that haste action to dash, and I'm just gonna get as far up as I can. That's gonna be my turn. Right. Next up will be the terracotta man trying to punch the chicken. Chicken punch. Uh, Twenty-two for seven bludgeoning damage to nibbles. Nibbles had seven hit points left. Nibbles are gone. Chicken right. choked. I will delete nibbles. Oop. Uh, stone golems. This one will uh, slam your for 11 bludgeoning damage and then it will slam Bjorn but miss. So Bjorn takes 11 damage. There we go. This guy here will slam the uh, slam the pillar for 9 damage. It is almost gone. This one will walk down here. Slam this pillar for... Uh, da -da -da. That was not a crit. 19 hits though. So. So that is five. Oh, there I am. Slamming the pillars. Uh, that was all three of them. Theus, you're up. Oz, can you teleport? You know, baby. What? I mean, not a teleport, but yeah, I can. Yeah, I, I can move. I can. I can. I can dimension door. <laughs> if that's what you're asking. Yes. Okay, good. I'm good. Because otherwise, okay, good. Then I will fly. I will dash with the broom and nongle, just straight out. As fast as we can. Right. So, what's the speed of your broom? 50, 50 feet? Yeah. Right. It depends. Like, is Nongle, how heavy is Nongle? Because, no, like, uh, 60 pounds. Okay, good. Okay, good. Then 100 feet. Do a gnome. You have a garden gnome on your broom. You're fine. Right. Now we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm that the own statues are, are not. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you fly you, around, you, like you, you, yeah, you can, you can definitely do that. Like, 40 feet up, just in case. Yeah. Also, uh, while I'm doing this, I'm uh, fly by. Torg is still invisible? Yeah. Shit, no, one minute. It's really one minute still? Yeah, one minute, but time stopped, right? right? Oh, okay. I mean, that's why the game is right. Okay, uh, I can see beyond. I will throw him. A healing word, uh, just because Bjorn, just in case. All right. Uh, I will, s I will uh, say to him, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> we will not surrender, cause we aren't going to lose. I could sing forever, as a bard, I am your mute. <laughs> okay, he, he was eight. Okay, good. that's a really bad roll. Holy shit! So one or two? Okay. All right, he heals eight hit points. Beautiful. You always. Why are you coming out from that way? That's highly irregular. As he fires a shot both thrice. One hit on the. Yeah, he. Sure. All right. He hits. He hits the stone golem for ten damage. Uh, does anyone answer him? Sorry, no, I'm no, currently really, straight no. up. Yeah. No. No. We are going to. We are going, I don't know. I don't know the fuck this guy is. Go. Right. <laughs> yeah. I think we, later, we, buddy. We found all there is to find. Let's put it like that. The professor runs up the stairs and uh, is out of sight. And uh, Furo. Furo. Is everything uh, alright? Are you. Uh, you do? We're fleeing now! We more. And he will quickly attack the stone goal or little yeah, terracotta guy. It's dead. Alright, and then he will take. Uh, uh, yes, 40 feet. So he'll take a move and just go up the stairs, and we're good. All right. You can also just uh, uh, prepare a dash, on, so like he'll flee with the rest of you. Oh no, he's gonna go up. Make sure the way's clear. Sure. All right. So, uh, so he moves over here. Uh, so yeah. attacks and then moves and then. 
yeah, I'll uh, cunning action go up to the kind of foot of the stairs, and then I uh, intention is for him to hide so he can see what's going on before we get up there. All right, sure. So we'll take that for the next turn when he yeah. gets up to the next yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, you're up. Um, so just to confirm, um, you can bonus action use your uh, expend if you want as well. Sure, uh, yeah. I might not need to anyway. Um, that's right, there's not oh, really oh, much. Oh, oh, I something really happens see. before your turn. Sorry. Oh. The, uh, we The snake Le uh, Le kind of. No, the snake oh, kind no. of. Uh, it begins to kind of reassemble itself and uh, uh, becomes uh, like this great eldritch nasty monster. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Excuse me? Hmm. <laughs> Pardon? Okay. Um, we are fucked, and, I say. <laughs> and it uh, it can only take a single action. Its lightning breath is set its charge, but it is not right now. So let's see. No, it's fine. It will try to. Uh, it is next to Bjorn. So it will try to. Uh, Try to constrict Bjorn. Uh, 24. Bjorn is uh, bonus grappled and restrained and takes 7 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And he bites down on him. And Bjorn takes a bunch more damage and makes a saving throw and fails. Bjorn is dazed. All right. Oh, then now it's you. Okay. Uh, this might be slightly metagaming. Uh, tell me if it is. Uh, have I seen Torgan use Dimension Door before? Do I know that he has it? Uh, 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 I will say, Anton, that's up to I you to, to say so. yes or no to. I, I think no, because the whole hell arc, we didn't have teleportation, so I don't think so. It doesn't necessarily mean you don't have it. Okay, um, right. Uh, well, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't know, I guess, is what I'm saying. No. Secondly, um, okay, I just need to check how far this is actually going to move me. Because I have haste at the moment. I still have haste, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run 60 feet up, and then I'm going to use my bonus action Misty Step to Misty Step behind Bjorn. Sure. Uh, when I'm within arm's reach. So I'm going to move myself to a about here. Oh, Christ! I can't do that because uh, the colliding collision with walls. Sorry, two seconds. Yeah, I'll, I'll just drag you up there. Yeah, uh, you can put me like di diagonally opposite uh, beyond that. Be crazy. fantastic. Right there. Uh, I'll check in a second. I can't actually see me at the moment. Oh, sorry. My my foundry runs so slowly when I'm uh, playing. There we go. That's excellent. Um, I've just moved my. I think I just moved myself back. Uh, right, that'll do. Uh, and what I'm gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna really hope that Torga's got a way out. I'm gonna. Um, also, I mean, I don't know how this how this works in terms of using spells because I didn't use a spell slot for bon for Misty Step. Does that mean I can still cast a spell on my turn? Yes, as long as uh, the bonus action, or, or as long as one of the spells is second level or lower. But none of my spells are, because I'm a warlock. Uh, yeah, but Mr. Step is the second level spell. Yes, so I couldn't use Dimension Door right now, is what I mean. Uh, yes, you could. Yeah, because you cast. Only... Yeah, Misty Step can't upcast, so even if you can't use the fifth level slot, it's still considered a second level spell. Cool. Um, okay, I will quickly turn to Torgan and go, Are you good to get out of here? I'll be fine. Okay. okay. Right. Right now. Yeah. That's, In which case, I go yeah. Bjorn with me, and I'm going to try and dimension door with Bjorn because I don't believe. I think because it's a teleport, it will just ignore restraints. Yes, it will. Yeah, and I'm going to teleport 500 feet out, up to the top of the pyramid outside where we were previously. So I'm assuming that's probably within 500 feet ish. If okay. not, then I'll just get as far away as I can. And I'll and, and I'll as I'm going, I'll just go turn to Bjorn, talking and go. Bye. Good luck. I will say the uh, the stairs are pretty like uh, are pretty high. I, I, you can get to the chamber where Bjorn lifted off the the stone there. That's fine. Yeah, as long as it's far enough away from uh, Big Eldritch Horror, that's fine. 
I'm going to just make sure that you are there. Oh, and yeah, right, that, sure. So I'm going to I'm going to just take your tokens. I'm going to put them up here so you can still see what is happening. But I will remove both Bjorn and Oust from initiative for now. Oh, I'll, I'll just skip you. It's fine. As you oof, bam, out of the way. Nice. Uh, after your turn, Bronze Serpent uh, will. Uh, oh, no, that's not it. Uh, it will do its legendary action. Uh, it will. Uh, uh, it will. It, it will try to go forward. Are you going to stop it, Torgan? Do I get the because... sense that it's unaware that I'm here? Like, is it just ignoring yes. me? It, it can't I'll... see you. So, okay, so. Then uh, I will not do anything. It goes up here, and it uh, tries to attack Nongle. Nongle, sixteen to hit you. Uh, shield. Shield. All right. Go. Uh, then it will bite you. 16 to hit. That's really lucky. Okay. It's one hell of a shield. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, that's perfect. Uh, and then lair action. Water rises by six feet. Water begins to kind of slowly be at, at your foot level, like uh, on the ground. This is weird. All right, I'm going to put it on this guy then. I can't do that. So, all right, never mind. It's 20 feet now. Uh, Torben, you're up. Do I get a turn? Or... Wait, yeah, I think it's skipped number. Oh, I yeah, skipped you number. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's your turn. Uh, Noggle will tap Theus on the shoulder and be like, uh, we need a bit more speed. And I will cast... It's a book! Go faster! Oh, now we can. I'll cast, uh, Fly at 4th level, targeting Theus and myself. And then, uh, later! <laughs> this will, I will provoke them. <laughs> two. That was, uh, really good for you. It, it rolls a 2 to hit you, so it is, uh, not not doing well right now in regards to hitting. Yeah, so I'll Just go this far and then 10 feet wildly. up, so I'll, I'll be on the upstairs as well. I don't know how yeah. how far is the stairs up? Uh, uh, around 400 feet. 400 feet? All right, so I'll just yeah. put myself yeah. at, uh, I'm 20 feet up the stairs now. <laughs> I'm just up ahead of you going, hello. Oh no, I'm, I'm visible. So you just say hello. No, you, you guys are on, <laughs> you guys are on the next level. I don't think me. we managed to get all the way up. I think we're still, a little bit further. We're just inside. Legendary action. Theus. 21 to hit. 21 hits. You are grappled and restrained. You take 16 bludgeoning damage. Okay. All right. Torben, you're up. I'll just uh, run past this uh, very terrifying creature. I'm kind of looking at the, the only two people left in the room. Are you going to be fine, Theus? So what, what exactly do you have a plan out? I have a plan out. Theus is fine. Oh, all right. You're coming with me then, Elf Boy. And I'm going to just if I invisibly just grab at him. And I will also Dimension Door. All right. So you Dimension Door up with the others? Fine. As, as far as I can go. Having like four party members with Dimension Door is incredibly good. <laughs> That is really good. Yeah, I didn't it's take just... it because I'm small. I'm the only small character, right? So I can't take any with me. Is the uh, Dimension Door away? Because I'm okay, confused. I, 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 yeah, Osp, Osp Bjorn, Ionis, and Torgan are old. Dimension Everyone Dorn. up here are, are, are gone. Yeah. yeah, it's literally just you that needs to go out. Okay. Um, I am going to real quick, uh, because I forgot to roll for the uh, Guardians. Uh, yeah, there's no more uh, Terracotta Men. Just to be sure. Yeah. Good. Uh, was that your turn, Tolan? Yeah, I'm just running, poking it. Alright. Uh, this one here steps up. Uh, Slow is back. Go ahead and give me a wisdom save, uh, Theus. You are slowed. Inspiration, anyone? 
Uh, I have inspiration. Oh, yeah. Okay. I have your inspiration as well. Yeah. Or wait, there's only like a ten percent uh, no, chance. Yeah, I... Okay, yeah. no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the dice will set fierce. You are slowed. Still cast spells though. If you're not, not guaranteed. This guy. Oh, that's over right. Here. Uh, what's your armor class? Uh, 16. You take, uh, you take a total of uh, 29 damage. Yeah. From that guy. And this guy just dashes over there. He can't hit you right now. So, Leon, your, your character is, uh, is surrounded by golems. What a, okay, what a total uh, of events. I've... I will try to mention to her. So, uh, the way spells work. So, what do I have to roll here? You have to roll an 11 or lower for the spell to take effect this turn. 11 or higher. Sorry, so so you have to roll a 10 or lower. 11 or higher, and it doesn't no take half. into account until next turn. Roll like me right now. I mean, it, it doesn't actually specify the spell thing in the description. Yeah. Is this... Is this That's... specifically for Golem, or is this just... Oh, I see what you mean. Gold target oh, has succeed, fails, target. Can't use reaction, speed is halved, and can't make a move more to the uh, target to get the action bonus action. These effects Usually, like, what the, what, so what is the yeah. template of that Golem? Yeah, this is not... This, is this a shield guardian? It is a stone Golem. Yeah. Stone Golem? It's not slow? Yeah, it's not casting the slow spell. It has a slow effect. It does not hinder yeah. your magic. Okay, because slow as a spell also uh, hinders magic. Yeah, this is not a yeah. spell. Yeah. Oh, so okay, similarly, good. it can't be dispelled and it can't be counterspelled. So yeah. this is not a spell. Yep. No, you're good. You can yeah. just uh, just go dimension ahead. And, uh, I have the dimension dooring up to the others. All Don't right. Die really for a second. <laughs> The Furrow's got a movement of 120, and Nongol has a movement of 120, so we're going to be just be flying up as quick as we can. Yeah, are you guys waiting for Nongol and Furrow? It'll be, I mean, it'll be like four days, rounds before I get there. We can't dim door, so. Uh, yeah, so it's like 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. You guys going to wait for us? Don't yeah. think so fucking hard on it, guys. Are you waiting for the Noggle or not? He's going to leave me there. No, I, I, I said, yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, right. good. We're all stunning. I wanted more enthusiasm, you know? Yeah, I'm you know. sorry. As you are... Uh... Mr. Spellslot's over there is worried about whether we're going to come, whether we're going to wait for him. Oh, you all, You all get up the stairs. After a few seconds, you can hear the golems and the... Uh... And the and the serpent kind of uh, going uh, going up uh, the stairs behind you, uh, thrashing wildly. Push the. Uh, Are you guys? Push the sarcophagus back on as soon as we get up. No, I, uh, you would have the you would have the time to kind of uh, uh, wait for that. Yeah. So ready and, uh, that. Prepare yeah. it. Would there be any way of? Um... Maybe me and Bjorn, like, just attacking kind of this corridor up. Just whether we can kind of try and, like, cave it in, you know, collapse the uh, the corridor to slow you them down. Definitely try. Might be easier for you to just attack the ceiling, but yeah. Yeah, either or. Yeah. Um, but, 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 like, just with your swords, it would probably take longer than you have. So if you have. Also, other, Bjorn, is still, Bjorn is still dazed as well, so we won't bother. We'll just, uh, yeah, oh, we'll no, do not anymore as, a, as, oh, okay. as, as he had had some time to wait. I'm going to take it off for him. No, um, I will I will stand uh, watch at the end, just make sure nothing comes at us, and I'll just be the last out, basically. All right, so... Are we, are we worried about being pursued? Is that what's going on? I mean, that thing seemed quite interested in killing us. So, yes. Right, well, I'm not particularly interested in being chased, so... Um... Let's do something about that. And uh, as we are fleeing up the stairs, Torben will kind of slam a fist into the ground, and I will cast Wall of Stone to basically just barricade the uh, yeah. path behind us. Yes. Yes. Is that a concentration spell? Yeah. Can I have dropped the haste first so sure, that sure, I don't sure, immediately sure. lose yeah, concentration? Yeah, of course. Because that would have been pretty goofy. 
you you uh, rush out. You kind of make the stone door or the stone wall <laughs> massive amounts of stone. Bjorn kind of tips on the uh, the, the big sarcophagus. <laughs> Dust everywhere as you are uh, now back up in the thing. You can hear the wild thrashing. When this concentration stops, they will get out. A wall of stone is actually permanent. Yeah. If it's permanent, right. Well, if, yeah, if, but they like, could break they they break through it. They, yeah, but they could break through it, so. Yeah, but it does have a shit ton of it. But yeah, as soon as we're, as soon, as soon as we're here, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's leave. Like, there's no reason staying here, right? Yeah. Also, there's a load of water pouring down the ziggurats, so that's practically the biggest water slide you'll ever encounter in Ogle. Uh, no, Just water parks, that. not water slides. It's completely Oh, different. same thing, come on. No, it is not. This is both Alf okay. and me saying this. Okay, guy with like that, guy with that 20 intelligence, <laughs> things need to be very specific. <laughs> Alf completely doesn't understand the concept of water parks. <laughs> Yeah, well, you were probably, like, ah, probably abused as a child, as far as Nongle is concerned, so... <laughs> as you, as you're standing there after that, a few seconds go, and then you hear the, uh, the voice of Professor Ignatius. Help! Help! They hurt me! Outside. <laughs> oh, shit. We might if have if we go up and see a load of fucking faceless assassins, I'm gonna cop off. Uh... <laughs> No, they, we left them downstairs. We didn't take them out, right? We took uh, what's his name? No, he's upstairs. No, we took one of them out. Not the, not John Ignatius did not come out with us. It was the other. But guy. he started running before we even went downstairs. Oh, yeah, he sprinted immediately. Oh, right? that's right. He also used a spell to get up. Well, after that. Oh, okay. So he should be up here then. Yeah. Where is he? He's up the top. But that's what I mean. You that's just what heard it's... him outside. Oh, yeah. outside. Let's get out. Fuck outside then. Yeah, let's go. Where are we going? Yeah. Just locked up, Nongle and frickin' uh, 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 Theus has got some fly on them. Let's let it get out there. Let's fucking dash. Oh, uh oh, next map. You come out. It's dark. You see. You see uh, the dark Kangundi night stretching ahead of you. What a rushing to the cigarettes. Oh, yeah, and I had to fucking mention the mask, didn't you? God damn it. At the end of the... The, um... At the end of the, uh... The, uh, the staircase, you see... Uh... Two... Face assassins and one of the dark Seneschal. I fucking knew it! John Ignatius is, uh... Has been knocked unconscious next to them. As he crawlash the uh, the dwarven sage, like I'm sorry, the half of family, they were they were going to kill, and he also gets knocked unconscious uh, by the dark seneschal. As you see, um, a few kind of uh, people slowly but surely walking out from. The from a from a behind some of the uh, the stones uh, to let you know that they are definitely there. Um, the uh, the dark central kind of takes two steps up to the edge of the stairs, and he points. It has been hard, quite hard finding all of you, Sadiq. Well, now it seems it is the end of the road. <laughs> Barely. I mean, this was literally at the end of a road, so uh, it might be being literal. Antares, if you come with us now, no one needs to get hurt. Antares is going nowhere with you. Back into the night, and your friends will be safe. How far is he away from me? Uh, you can measure it. 40 feet. Yeah. Do I know him? This one? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like the rest of them. Uh, one of them. This is... Uh, this is... Oh, uh, 
go ahead and look in my notes here one second. Mask gimmick, mask face. This is Shu. Shu is pretty, uh, yeah, Shu is the Sul, assassin. Shu is the magic guy. Shu. Okay, Tog Nongle, Nongle, I will trust in you and I will immediately cast reverse gravity on them in a, a big cylinder, <laughs> getting as many as possible inside of them. You There's nothing that they can hold. And uh, Tog is also there. He cast spells. There's, yeah, and Nongle and Tog also. I... That's why I'm trusting in Nongle and Tog. All right, counterspell. All right. Uh, let me see if this other spellcaster can do that then. Yeah, he has one. This is like magical, uh, like uh, you're like a you're, you're just using, you're, you're just use, using a counterspell, a third level, I guess. Uh, uh, no. Uh, you didn't say anything else. No, he, said, so. he says he's pretty upset, so I'm going to use a seventh level counterspell. And oh. I'm going to use a subtle spell with that. So uh, you can't counterspell Ooh. me. Hey, you boy. <laughs> so you counterspell the counterspell that. All right. So where did you center the uh, reverse gravity? To hit as many of them as possible. It's a 50 foot. I just had to check how high the radius is. Because this is a 100 foot cylinder. Go ahead and which cast is it. Also, so it's 50 foot radius and a 100 foot cylinder. So they're going 100 feet straight oh. the fuck up. I, yep. I like the idea. As they, as they go up, me and Bjorn just think that this is a clay pigeon shoot all of a sudden and just cock our respective weapons. <laughs> this is going to happen. <laughs> then there's going to be a surprise round. And it's not in your guys' favor. No. Oh. Oh, You're going then... to eat Ignatius off into the distance. Who so, cares? Are we attached to this I'm guy? Good. We just need to get in here because of him, right? He, he's the brother of a close friend. <laughs> Who? What? I'm, going to, ah. I'm just going to tell you what is happening here. Okay. You are going, like, with this roll initiative, this is going to happen, then they are going to have a surprise round. Because okay. they have prepared this. That's fair. So go <laughs> ahead and put, the, and put Wait, down I the... I can't uh, be surprised. Yeah. Uh, no, so you will you will act in that round. Oh, wait, actually, wait, no. I, the My brand has an aura that allies around me can't be surprised. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, yeah, so it means it's, it's, it's warning. It's no There's surprise no surprise for them. Yeah. Let me just find the exact uh, wording. Weapon of warning. I think it's basically the same. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm currently prioritizing the party. I don't know these guys. That's fine. Yeah, uh, you and any companions within 30 feet of you cannot be surprised except by incapacitated by something other than non magical sleep. That is cool. All right. Uh, so let me rephrase. There's going to be a bunch of prepared actions. And then. That's fair. If they're prepared, yeah. well, Thanks, if they're, they cannot be prepared if they are not within the round and they would have a surprise round, right? But we can't be surprised, so nothing happens. Yeah. It's not just they have been, round. They have, been, they have been preparing their actions since you came out. Yeah, but they would surprise us and yeah. we're not surprised. So, yeah, they so they would roll initiative and then they would act on their turn. With their prepared yeah. actions, right? So they still have their actions prepared, just they can't ready an action against a creature that can't be surprised. However, the technically, way, the way when I you're holding an action, you're that... concentrating. Yeah, so <laughs> this guy down here would not have anything else. The others have been preparing for a number of rounds, so they will get to do that first, and then we'll go into initiative. All right. Okay. Yeah. They are master I... assassins. Let, that's, let them have that, it. that's the rolling. That's the rolling. Yeah. That's just, yeah. Okay. They have superior right. <laughs> surprise. These are they, spooky fellows. These are spooky fellows. Like so, so if, if they 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 would, they would have known you were going to try to pull some shit, right? So understandable. You uh, do that. Who can grab onto anything? Uh, Noggle was... and Dias are flying, so we don't have to worry about it. No, 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 but you're not with um, the... they, they have to be able to grab onto something. Oh, you're dropping it actually. Like... I thought we were going to yes. drop it on us. I didn't think. Okay, yeah, perfect. Do we still have Gift of Alacrity up, by the way? Uh, yeah, uh, 
Oh, are we rolling initiative again? Yeah. I just I rolled, did. I just I just pre pressed the roll all button. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Uh, so Nongol would be up by four points. No, two. So I'm on nine. I was at eight euro for last time. Are you just trying to roll half as well as me? That's normally what I do. No. Right. Uh, I've, 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 you got plus I'm two. sorry, Alex. You, you roll significantly less than half of me. <laughs> That's true. I love you, buddy, but... <laughs> Yes. Let's be honest here. <laughs> I can't argue. I can't argue with that. That was a nine. It's supposed to be a nine. Let's go. And so, uh, the last one would be Bjorn, right? Seven. Okay. So Bjorn gets to go to with that in mind. sixteen. All right. So. First things first, I'm just going to take them. Uh, these, all these guys, uh, do they immediately fall up to the one is hundred feet? Like as far as I know, there's nothing for them to grab onto. Yeah, no, that's definitely not. Yeah, they have to be next to something to grab onto it, right? And yeah, this. Well, this guy, I don't know what this is. Uh, this right here, maybe this guy can grab onto that. What is that? A pod or something? The description is pretty vague, right? Is yeah, I will say this guy can make a deck save, uh, which he makes. He rolls, uh, he rolls twenty total. So this but, guy is. But, but hey, is is this attached to so the actual? It's a it's a, it's an attached brassiere, Yeah. Okay, cool. It's bolted down because it should go up straight uh, as well, right? It's I, I, I will say gravity. This head does. This head does. The rest are carved into this into the rock. Oh, let's just get everyone under the head and just drop it on him. But also, Mom, <laughs> they're, they're, they're still basically stuck, right? Like, if they, even if they grab onto something, they're still kind of stuck in place, right? They're, yeah, they're restrained. Yeah, right? yeah. Unless, unless they can do something else. Yeah, yeah. Th but they're 100 feet in the air. They can't grab onto anything to move. It's like a levitate spell. They can't do anything, right? Back down there. All right. Oh, oh, he has a great initiative. He can't do anything in initiative, though. So. Uh, first thing will be the uh, the foot soldiers. All right, uh, these two guys. Uh, oh, he can move. They will shoot at uh, these guys. Shoot at. Uh, they saw Nagel uh, or Theus cast the spell, so they will hand crossbow uh, Theus. That's a double net one. <laughs> Twelve to hit won't hit you, right, Theus? No. All right, the other one. 19 to hit. Noggle on me. You. Uh, this will hit, yes. Sorry, dude, I'm Go too ahead. small. They give, can't see me. <laughs> better give me a con save, Theus. That being smart. Con save. You take a total of uh, 21 damage. Oh, they're so all going to fight, gone? fall to oh, their yeah, death right now. This guy comes out here. Uh, this guy comes out here. This guy uh, moves up here. This guy moves up here. This guy shoots from cover. Did you uh, do it? Yeah, you did a con save. He's going to shoot at you again, Theus. 18 to hit. 18. Uh from where? Because tip, like, it would I have cover from either from Bjorn if he shoots uh, on the right? Uh, no, uh, uh, if any creatures don't give cover because that's then we have to say then when do they hit Bjorn instead, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, this guy is taking cover behind the the back of the tail here. I don't know if you can see him over here. Okay. Uh, it takes an 18 to hit. Uh, is that enough? Uh, 18 hits, yes. I'm gonna give me another con save, please. Or oh, uh, I forgot the damage. You 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 definitely do it. You take uh, you take 30 damage from him, so that's not too bad. Second attack. Fuck. Uh, 
I'll say that you succeed for the rest of the poison on that con save there. If that's it's going to be eight damage. Oh, he has advantage, so that means he gets a sneak attack as well. So the first wouldn't have been 13, it would have been 26. You, you do do it, it's fine. You keep your concentration on these guys. All right, that was the foot soldiers that are not being yeeted into the air, or these those who are there right now. Then it's going to be the assassins. There are the two down here. There is... Oh, I didn't put anyone else there. All right, these foot soldiers are just going to reveal themselves, make way to run in. Then uh, you hear a few thudding steps as a uh, Corgan Rain thumps down behind you, the big uh, Noxodon guy that you fought on the ship. Um, he's going to uh, attack Euthius. He's going to uh, go for a 17 to hit. 17 hits, yes. All right. Uh, first of all, you take uh, 14 bludgeoning damage. 14 bludgeoning damage, he's, uh, Yeah, but that might not be the total. He's, we're also going to do an athletics check. He rolls a nat 20 twice. Holy fuck. He's going to grapple you. Yeah. Uh, there's, he doesn't use poison, so you uh, go ahead and roll me an uh, athletics or acrobatics to grapple against him. I don't think I can roll it high. Right. Ah, well. <laughs> you are yeah, grappled you're right. <laughs> by, you're grappled by him, damn. Um, and let's see, uh, he's going to make a, a choking attack on you. So go ahead and give me a con save against that as he kind of crushes your windpipe, you, you feel for a second how how your vocal cords almost get paralyzed, but uh, but you manage to hold on uh, and you, you're still able to use your voice. He then, with with his other hand, reach in and attack you, Nongle, the same way. What? Uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that's fine. And give me a, 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 give me a con save, please. Uh, con save? Sure. Uh, yeah. 14. Nongle, you are muted. For a minute. I, I'm sorry, I'm muted? Yes, as he paralyzes your vocal cords with a, oh, with a brisk attack. Oh, shit. Okay. This, this guy is a spell killer, like a, 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 what is, a wizard killer, right? Oh, Thea, is a good one hit point? Fuck. Uh, like, yeah. can I try to identify, like, what he's using to mute me? Is this a spell? Yeah, or, he, he, like... he, punches, he, punches, he punches your throat. It's called Crush Windpipe. It's a, it's a monk, it's a monk kind of maneuver thing. Okay. Uh, you might be able to heal it in the same way you would heal, for instance, uh, Blinded or, uh, or Deafened. So uh, I, I, it, it's the same. So if you have, for instance, someone who can cast uh, what is it called, uh, lesser restoration on you, you're fine. Okay. Uh, yep. That happens. That was all of them. All right. Now we're at the top of the round. Back to them. Yes. So we're going to top of the round. Uh, this guy. What will he do? He is up in the uh, the air he's not having it he's going to fire step 60 feet down so that means he's going Even to if... fall what oh no i just oh but he's going to fire step so he's going 60 feet down this ledge i'll say is 10 feet above so he's he's going to fall 30 feet i'm going to make an acrobatics check it's pretty good but not good enough he takes some fall damage for 30 feet Lands thuds onto the ground, uh, takes some damage. As he uh, he kind of uh, let's see what he's going to do. Uh, he's going to cast a grasp of Hadar on all of you. Go ahead, everybody, and make a strength save. I thought to myself, I don't need a combo spell on this character. <laughs> that 
awesome. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't have counter spell. If he's within, is he within 30 feet range? Yeah, he, he definitely is. Okay, then I counter spell yeah, that. Counter spell, he counter spells your counter spell. Okay. Consume mark. So, everybody above an 18, you succeed, you take 4 necrotic damage. Sorry, I didn't realize I've been muted for ages. Um, I yeah. use my inspiration to re-roll that, and got an 18. Sure. Sure. Uh, the rest of you, that is Nongle and uh, Theus, uh, you take uh, you take 8 necrotic damage and cannot use reactions until... Okay, I'm down. Uh, reverse gravity falls, so every one of them falls oh, 100 no. feet. I'm going to go... <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So they take 26 points of damage. 26, that's 39. A lot just happened. They all get prone. And so... Oh, that kills two of these. All right, this guy is just straight dead. Uh... Oh, there you go. Why doesn't it mark him as dead? Oh, never mind. So sorry, what was the damage for the AoE? Uh, eight. A safe or eight. All right. Uh, do they land prone, the rest of them, or do they make it? Yeah, they are. They. Oh yeah, I will see if uh, the these land prone. <laughs> they don't. I rolled very badly for these guys. They are prone awesome. and they are on the ground, badly, badly hurt by this. By this devastating attack on them. What about the other two? I'm going to make them prone now. Let's see where there it is. And I'm going to use the big ones here because we can actually see those. What was the spell they used? Uh, that guy used was it Hunger of Hader or Arms of Hader? Yeah, H Hunger of Head of Hader. Hunger. Okay. Uh, no, it wasn't uh, Arms of Hader. Uh, yeah. How so, the arms? Okay. and John Ignatius look like? Because they also fell 100 feet. Uh, yeah, they are going uh, to. Uh, uh, that's right, Dad. <laughs> yeah, they're floating, uh, whatever. <laughs> no, John Ignatius is near dead. Uh, Croclash is. Uh, is is bloodied. Also, I don't know how much it matters, but the arms of an eye is a 10 foot radius, so it would need to come closer. Oh, it's. Uh... Oh, yeah, you are actually full, fully correct. That is not something you go out and do. So he's going to be there instead. So I'll say that it's only Nongle and Bjorn and uh, Ionius that is actually... On that basis, can I take the inspiration back that I used on that saving throw? Yes, you can. That is Thank good. You. Thank you for keeping me honest. Uh, that is fine. Reset my vision as well, because my vision's always reset. Uh, there we go. That is uh, what he's going to do there. So, talking you're up. I'm still mourning the loss of my fifth level spell slots with the Wall of Stone. Um, yeah, that's a lot going on. So, is, was it correct that all of these enemies go before everyone else? Or did they just go now? I didn't really fully understand the turn order. They just, they just went. Yeah, they, they tried to stab the as a bunch. Yeah, so instead of rolling a surprise round, they have ready to actions, right? So as soon as the spell was cast, they ready they release their ready to actions. So yeah, they just jump to the top of initiative rather than actually getting a full round extra. I see. No, they no they for, the, all... for this round they did. No, for this because round they, they were first. It's oh, it no, everyone it attacked yeah. before, and then they attacked again, and then now. Oh okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But they so... didn't get the advantages of of you being uh, you having the surprised condition. Yeah. Yeah. Do they appear to have any special senses, or do I get the sense that I'm invisible right now? Because I'm currently in darkness. Uh, you get the feeling that the Seneschal definitely knows where you are. And the the uh, the Elephant Man definitely also seems like he has like some really weird, wide pupils, completely, uh, completely uh, dilated. Okay. All right, He's I'm on camera. Oh, uh, can I jump over this railing? It says I'm colliding with a wall. Uh, yeah, you can. I'll drag you across it. There you go. <clears throat> so I 
Okay, let me one up. I'm colliding with a lot of walls. Thank you. And since we're in the business of dropping big AoEs, I'm literally out of spell slots, so I'm just gonna keep having to burn hit points. I will cast Cloud Kill. Ooh. Oh, one sec, I have to give myself spell points so I can actually... Oh, can't you just, it. can you just cast it with hit points? Isn't that the thing? I don't know, but it's like, it's, it says I don't have spell slots when oh. I try to cast it, right? So That's weird, just... all right. All right, and I will place it. Do I need to have yeah. someone fully inside of it, or is it enough? No, no, no that's fine. That's the, all of them eclipse them will be hit as well. Okay. Well, this one needs to get in the initiative. There we go. You get all of these. And I'm gonna end my turn uh, here. Are you? Uh, did, did you get? that as well or i think the damage is at the start of your turn let me just double check when a creature mm. enters the spells area for the first time or starts its turn there so they all have to make con saves now uh they that... one of them makes it so i'm say, going to say that's that this guy this guy's no when a creature enters damage. the spell not if they're not entering it it's, no, that's right. it's entering them, right? So at the start of their turn, they're yeah. going to make saves. Yeah. Or, or, they or else right, it would be sure. now and then at the start, so the spell would activate twice. So no. So the, the three foot soldiers to your right, I've already rolled for them, so you don't need to do anything to that. All right. All right, and I will uh, hide in the cloud because it technically gives uh, heavy obscurement. You can go ahead and do a con save as well. Well, it is oh, if, when you like, start your turn. So no, but you are you're moving into it for the first time in your turn. I, I, I dropped it on top of me. Is that not the same logic as them? Or did they also just make the save? Yeah, that, that would yeah. make sense too. He's not... Yeah, he's sure. Not, we'll, we'll, yeah. He's to be fair, it says when a creature... Yeah, we'll do that. Right? We'll say it like that. Doing that. So, yeah, it's you're doing that and then you're ending your, you're ending your turn there? That's right. Me. Perfect. Uh, Ferret time. Furo, Furo looks bewildered uh, in need of uh, guidance. Uh, uh, Tanner. Um, uh, he'll attack this big guy, I guess? Place the Pachyderm. Yeah. Hit the Pachydonian. Pac uh, 1723. Uh, he's going to parry that. So you do not hit. Uh, either of them? Uh, oh, uh, which one are you? Like, is it the elephant guy you're doing? Yeah, big guy. Oh, okay, big guy. Yeah, then the Chalice of the Rotten Prince. He, he won't parry then because that's not the one I thought it was. Yeah, he's going to, uh, yeah, you hit with the offhand. Okay, so that's 20 points necrotic then. 20 points necrotic. He'll take that. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. ow. Good soldiers, all of these three I rolled for. Uh, this guy on the ledge is going to shoot down with... He's going to aim, shoot down with his hand crossbow on Bjorn. Uh, oh, that's bad. Uh, Bjorn, I will just say he succeeds the poison because why? Because it's Bjorn. He will do that. The other guy, hand crossbows Bjorn. 16 is not enough to hit him. Oh, wait, no, they have two attacks each. Other one will get him for not quite as much. Second one will get him for. Oh, that's a crit. That's bad. No, at least it wasn't a sneak attack. Oh, that was the wrong one. Where are they? Are they getting the advantage from flanking? From the other guy, are they? Uh, no, they are aiming. Okay. They're using steady aim. Okay. All right. Uh, any uh, ones attacking right now? The ones in the cloud, or are these different? No, no, ones? the ones in the cloud. I haven't. I haven't decided what they're going to do yet. These two over here are going to crossbow Bjorn too. Oh, that's another fucking crit. Damn. Oh god. 
Alright, I'm sorry Bjorn. Thanks. Uh, Bjorn is not down yet. Last one will try to attack him. That's a uh, miss and a hit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to say... Who wants to do the uh, the con save for Bjorn? No, oh, he can't roll less than a five. He's at one hit point. Uh, these guys are dead. This guy is holding on, has come back down. He's going to stand back up and is going to... Uh, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll just shoot at Oust, I guess. <laughs> the 12 will miss you, though. You're goddamn this right, guy. man. This guy uh, rushes over there. This guy rushes over here. And then he's going to miss the step there. He's going to miss the step there. All right. Um, boom, boom, boom. The, the three of the cloud will get out of it first. And then we'll miss the step up there. This guy will go the other way. He's a bit further behind the others. We will miss this step up here. This guy will just run uh, coughing uh, outside here. The poison damage? Yes, I have already rolled yeah. poison damage for them. Yeah. Oh, wait, could you just show me what path the one that just ran by took? Was he 10 feet away from me? Uh, yes, he was 10 feet away. Uh, he, oh, he was uh, 15 feet away from you. He ran from here to the left. And okay. then there. Yeah, that's too far. Away. I, yeah. I was uh, fishing. Or whip opportunity attack. Yeah, well, I get that, but sadly no. We are at Bjorn's turn. What does Bjorn do here, guys? Is Only he raging? Before. Well, Man, the big guy's grappling. Just... The big guy's grappling Theus, right? Yeah, so he will. So try fuck to him. Grab grab it, right? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> oh, does Bjorn have a healing potion? Uh, no. Oh, I have a healing potion though. Can Bjorn give me my healing potion? Wait, can Bjorn wait until it's my turn? Dude, let's not waste Bjorn or heaviest a damage dealer for a potion. Oh, uh, okay, then Bjorn. What's he doing? Well, Bjorn smashes like, the I, big I, I, I will... guy that's grappling you. He's going to smash him, or he's going to uh, try to break the grapple? Smash, uh, right. you're yeah, going Bjorn to damage thing, yeah. Right, yeah. Bjorn smash. Bjorn. That's a fucking Bjorn crit. Ooh, that's going to be really rough on this guy. Is he attacking he... the elephant arm, yeah? Yeah. Elephant he is... He is, uh, <laughs> In two attacks, this guy is bloodied for sure. Excellent. That's good. Uh, bang, bang, Urgh. Just barely holding on to Theus. Uh, uh, Dark Seneschal uses his legendary reaction to uh, command ally. Um, yeah, balls. Uh, he will command uh, Corgan Rain, who is going to. I'm sorry, was the uh, Seneschal the one next to me? Yeah. Seneschal is right here. Oh, that's the Seneschal. He is currently in heavy obscure man. I'm not sure if he has special senses to see out of that. Yeah. <clears throat> he's in a cloud. Yeah, he he's in cloud kill, right? Yeah, he but he has some 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 magic shit with his eyes as well. Okay. Just don't you just definitely know that he can see you. Oh, can you put down the uh, template again? I deleted it on uh, accident. Let's see here. Uh what will Corbin Rain do? He'll attack your back. Bang. 21, uh, 29 to hit. Will definitely hit Bjorn. He's going to make a disarming attack on Bjorn. So Bjorn makes a strength saving throw. Uh, so uh, he makes amazing. it, of course. Yeah. But uh, he's still... Bjorn, Bjorn uh, needs to make another con save to stay standing. So this time it's going to be 10 or above, which he can't fail. So Bjorn is fine. Uh, all right. All right, the face assassins get up. Uh, 
and they they ready actions as they take out their crossbows. Thieves. Oh, uh, you're, yeah. you're, you're on the you're on the floor of getting getting knocked out. You are on death saves. Okay, one fail. So turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dark Central will use his other legendary action to do a weapon attack against uh, the elf. No, he's going to go for Bjorn. That's the smarter choice here. Uh, doesn't matter what damage it does. Bjorn has now a DC 15 con save. Stay standing. <laughs> uh, Oust, you're up. Um, quick question, uh, which may or may not be unrelated. How's the weather? Ah, <laughs> um, you're looking for <laughs> someone's fishing for some uh, calling. You know what? Go ahead. <laughs> you take out the Verdant Shard. How does does yeah. it look any different from when you were out from after what happened? I'd imagine because previously it looked like kind of like crystalline, just but then like kind of opaque crystalline. I'd imagine it's a little bit clearer than it once was, but it still it still looks very much like the, like the shard. Like it's not massively changed, but I'd imagine there's, there's parts of it that look a lot clearer. Oh, translucent, I suppose is a better word for it. Rather than, yeah. That's cool. You take it out, go ahead and give me a luck roll. I know it's you, Alice, but you have a changed man. 18. It seems like a storm's gathering above you. Excellent. Throw so, yourself um, another D10. That's six D10 damage. Nice. Fu fun, fun geography background uh, piece of knowledge. Uh, when volcanoes erupt, uh, lightning is caused in by the uh, by like particles of ash yep. and dust yep. in the air. Yep. I happen to produce a hell of a lot of dust. So I just, as I kind of just <laughs> reach up into the air, <laughs> my eyes, which normally go green in terms of like when it's in darkness, just go bright white. <laughs> And this dust just seems to accumulate in the air in the clouds. And I'm going to cast Call Lightning on uh, Call or Call, either way. Um, I'm going to cast it on Mr. Elephant first and foremost. I'm going to use my Channel Divinity Destructive Wrath to do max damage on it as well. Hell yeah! You ta target two creatures with that five foot five foot square, right? Yeah. So you can target. Oh, okay. I'll, to... I'll I'll target that clown next to him as well then. This one. So he's going to take. So he's going to take forty damage if he doesn't save. Right? It's, it's within five feet of a point, right? So yeah. you could actually get all three of them. If I can get all three, then I, I will. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, no, like, so you can take uh, like, like a 10 by 10 feet area, I would say, right? Well, no, the, so this is a fifth level spell, right? So that's 5d10. No, it's a third level spell. It's an Arcanum, no. so it's cast at, well, it cast at first level. What? No, it's cast at the first level it's cast at, so level three. Sorry, that was me. Oh, okay, up. but yeah. it's an extra d10. Because yeah. you're in a score. So, so 40, 10, so, 40 points. So they t he takes 40 damage if he doesn't make the death uh, save. It's, sorry, it's, it, oh yeah, it's the time. Yeah, he does make the death save, uh, the deck save, so he takes 20 damage, which is still rough. This guy, though, does he do the deck save? Let's see. No, he doesn't. He's completely obliterated by the fucking lightning. Where you normally see lightning sort of come vaguely straight down, this one seems to just bounce about in the air a bit between these like particles of this green dust before it just like properly slams into the elephant and these guys nice. and that stays up as long as i'm holding as long as i'm yeah. holding concentration yeah um, i'm gonna to summon more shit yes i there is not a lot else i can do so i'm just gonna sort of stay there prepared for the onslaught that i'm assuming is happening is gonna come at me um hex phase curse Considering it only lasted a minute, I'd imagine that's long gone. Uh, yeah, at this point it is. Cool. No worries, that's my go. I'm going to stay there next to Fierce. All right. Dark Seneschal, do legendary action. He's going to stab Bjorn again. He hits. This time it is going to be a DC 20. Oh, Bjorn goes down. Huh. Uh -oh. The elf, what is what is your ally elf going to do here? Does he have any elf potions? Can I, can I have my turn? You keep passing my turn. Jesus. 
Oh, I did. Is it, is it like some, something with gates here? No. What? What's going on here? No, it's because it's because the legendary action I just automatically press next. Yeah. yeah. When I'm done doing something, I'm sorry. Uh, Go ahead, no, no. Well, I guess there's no other option but to fireball, right? You got an MHW, massive well healing words or whatever. I, I have it prepared, but I don't have spell slots for it. Yeah, no I will remind you that you are currently. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. Muted. N never mind. I can't do anything. Uh, don't, you have, don't you have a subtle spell? I, I do, but I don't have any spell points. I use those all in the jungle. We didn't, haven't had a rest, right? So. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything that's not verbal? It's pretty much nothing. Last time we met this guy, he was so fucking unlucky, and he didn't get to do uh, any of his cool shit. I mean, only thing I have is counter spell. It's the only spell I have that's not verbal. It's prepared right now. Spell is not verbal. No, it's just semantic. You just bloop, and it, that's it, right? So, um, I guess I'll just. Uh, and you wearing the stones of uh, the goddess of ogre power, or did you give that to someone else? No. Dark no, I swapped it over for the fedora of the Tomb Raider. Uh, no, go ahead and give me, first of all, an uh, investigation check, real quick. Investigation? Yeah. Uh, sure, 28. They have definitely brought close to overwhelming force. You guys need to get out, and you need to get out now, somehow. Yeah, but I'm a wizard that can't speak, so... No, but I'm you know that the at least... So for a you know full minute, guys, I, can't, I can't do anything. That's 10 rounds of combat. That, I'll be fucked up, right? So what you get with your 28 investigation is that these guys, at least the big ones, usually carry these orbs of teleportation somewhere on them. Okay. I would love to tell the party that, but I can't. Um, Use them... Snaky gnomish hands. <laughs> Quickly write it down. You snaky gnomish hands? Yeah, just down. I try and nick one or something. I, I I can't. I mean, I like I well, I mean, I could try, but it's not gonna work, right? <clears throat> Provided you don't roll like me, it might. Mm, just seeing if I like. I don't even have any potions or nothing. I will also say if. If they see you going for it, like, I would allow them to infer from your motion, right? You have been fighting these guys a lot. I am going... These guys have, are, are tired of being trounced by you, right? They're trying to get a win here. I don't feel like at any point we've won against them, but fair enough. Yeah, all we've ever done is run away from I feel these like, guys. Yeah, at best it's been a tie. <laughs> I remember last time we completely killed these guys. Holy shit. What the hell does this do? Uh, it do anything. It's great. Okay. I will, um... I'm going to take my bag of sand... I'm gonna throw it in the big guy's face. <laughs> I mean, we are truly desperate. Well, no, I can, like I'm. I can't fucking do anything. I'm muted for a minute uh, with no way to fucking counter it. So, uh, no, you you don't have no. You oh, fuck. You're out of things. You, yeah. Do you have uh, healing? I, I mean, I have healing I, potions. I, I, you could I, take one for me. If you have one on you, yeah, I'll use it on you. I'll use the healing potion on, on Theus then. Yeah, Theus, roll your healing potion. All right. But the idea of a level 14 wizard doing pocket sand sounds amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I always do pocket sand as a bonus action, too. All right. I mean, so, you don't have to, like... No, no, no. I'm, I mean... I'm, 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 as a bonus action, I'm fucking off. I'm getting out of here. Uh, so I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give Theus his potion, and then I'm going to use my... Um, uh... Hang on. i got to get past all these walls here. Fuck, so many walls! What's up with all the walls? Can't tell me about it. At least I could still concentrate and fly away. Uh, let's see where am I? Oh yeah, you're flying. Wait. 
when when you're about to fly away, you give me healing potions, right? Can I yeah. just say something to Noggle? Noggle, sure. Take my broom and get out of here. I already have it. Fine, I'll grab the broom. <laughs> I'll ah, ah, ah. <laughs> just fly away. Oh, <laughs> I'll get sand in your wake. All right, what would the elf guy do? I'm gonna go take a big uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to do a wisdom check for him. He's less than 13. He's going to try and run away. He fully yeah, disengages. Was... He gets. He, um, he just could gets I... the fuck out of there. Could I you... attempt to use my commanding presence to bring him back? <laughs> to, like, keep him in line? <laughs> Sure, if, you spend the, if, you, if you spend the superiority die, I'll let you make an intimidation roll. Sure, let's do that. Cause... I'll say the DC is going to be 20, which is not too high. No, for a normal person that normal rolls normal numbers. Uh, so oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right, that's just the superiority die. I don't know if that adds on to my roll. But, um, and this is an intimidation check, yeah? Yeah. That's a 16. Yeah, all, right, six. he, uh, all right, you've managed to get this guy to stay in the fight. He is going to... Uh, as he run away, he's going to get a... Uh, a opportunity attack though from the guy, the big guy there. If he dies now, it's fine. Oh, he probably won't. He has a bunch of points. He makes that, That's so right. it's going to be... there. All right. I'm uh, just like, I'm just like, sort of free great save, like, keep in line. I don't know fucking call him lightning down for the fucking this, sky. This guy is not having a good time. He will go to your side then and he will attack uh, Colin Rain for 25 to hit. For a bunch of uh, bunch of damage there. Alright. That's him. Colin Rain's turn. Yeah. He's grabbing Theus. Bjorn is out there. Oust. Hello. With his free hand, mm -hmm. he takes his free hand into his rope, and he takes out a black sphere. Okay. I will give Faust one action. <laughs> right. To prevent him from teleporting away with Theus right now. Um, okay. I'm, I'm conscious. Can he just teleport a conscious creature away? What does the teleport spell say? Does, if he's not to... willing. Let's see. If it is the teleport spell, I believe it is willing. It's willing creatures. It I'm not creature. willing. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. He, he did get you up. Well, in and that also case... Willing. Teleport is a willing creature. I'm not willing. Yeah. I, I, I will say if you're unconscious, you're not going to be able to be unwilling. So I'm going to say that, uh, all right, in that case, he's going to uh, attack Theus, six, uh, okay. 18 to hit for 11 yep. bludgeoning damage. Yep, I am done. He's then going to action surge. And then we do the same thing again. Yes. So he's going to try and get him, right, Here okay. We go again. But that means he exp he expends resources, right? So if, he, if sure. he's unsuccessful, he's going to be in, in more trouble. Sure. Um... Okay, so what am I doing against him right now? Am I just um, using an action? Up to you. You can, like... Uh, Who's doing the like, teleport on Theus? Uh, 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 he's using a magic item. The... The, 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 big, uh, the big elephant guy. He's using a magic item on talking. Theus. Yeah. Okay, um, question. Regarding my action... Yes. Now, actually, I'm probably better off using my action to do two attacks, right? Um... Is that, or, or is this going to be a single attack? As in, it, uh, is it more like a reaction, or is this an action? This is more like a reaction. But I'm going, but I'm saying we're not, we're not limiting this to a reaction. I want, like, you, I'm giving you a chance to do something, push this out of the way, try to grab the sphere. I don't. Okay. Know. Can I? And I just need to check that I can actually do this because I just used a superiority die. Uh... I don't think you've used. Uh, only thing you've used one, yeah. Yeah. Since so, um, can I stand over Fierce and cast Emerald Purge at him? Just try and knock him to... down. 
Yeah, that, that is one way. He looks like he has a pretty beefy strength saver. That's true. And you uh, just down or what? Or I can just attack him, I guess, uh, which is probably going to be. Attack him. You can try to grab onto the globe. You can do whatever you want. I'm just. Okay, I don't know how the uh, like. What's this globe look like? Does it look like it's made out of glass? It's like a basketball-sized pal palantir kind of black glass. Uh... Okay, I'm going to make an attack, but I'm going to make it against the orb. Hey, I'm going to just try and out just outright destroy that item from him. I know it kind of fucks us for getting away, but I'm assuming that multiple people have got this. All right. So, uh, yeah. Go ahead uh, and uh, make yes. an attack roll. That's enough for Shining for too. Got it where it matters. <laughs> you love to see it. Every you time really I try to fuck you guys, you fuck me back. Now I'm the one getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. You fuck me, I'll fuck you! We'll just... <laughs> Don't tell us a roll initiative, just talk to us nicely. <laughs> we can work this out by discussing it, alright? You're the one who, who fucked with uh, with gravity. Uh, I didn't do it, it was Theus! Theus is dead, so... <laughs> On a nat 20... with terrorists. On a nat 20, the left hand holding Theus is chopped right off. Oh, the, the other hand... It sucks yeah, it on. The orb goes flying into the air. I'll just go ahead and give me a uh, go ahead and give me an acrobatics or the or dexterity. I will say save or acrobatics check. Um, okay, I'm gonna go for a dex save because it's one higher. That's a natural twenty. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to. Uh, Alex, I, I, Alex, I catch the orb with, I catch the Where orb with are you? Hand, <laughs> I point the sword with him at the other, and I go, "You make another fucking trunk." <laughs> take your trunk. <laughs> you just see him take this out after bashing Theus back into submission. You take off his fucking hand. He roils back, roaring in pain as the orb goes flying. You just catch it in one hand like a fucking, like a fucking action hero. Pointed it, pointed him with the shard. My eyes are still bright white from the fucking yeah. weapon. As well. Uh, yeah, he takes a bunch of damage. Fucking incredible. Ouch. Yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, yeah. incredible. Uh, wow, that was really fucking cool. All right, that was a really satisfying round. <sighs> I tell you what, it makes up for the other thirty episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Shallow the round. Dark Seneschal does can't save. Makes the can't save. What was the damage on that again? Uh, oh god. Should I just reroll? It's way too long ago. Yeah, just fucking, just fucking reroll it. 28. 28. So he takes 14 poison damage. Oh, nasty. He takes his sword and he turns around to watch you out. Lay down your arms. You're outnumbered, you're outmatched. We will take what we came for and we will let you go in peace. I'm not I'm not replying to him, I'm just looking at him like, come on dude. You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> in fact, no, I tell I tell him that, like, you're embarrassing yourself. Call yourself a dark center shell. I I I sort of <laughs> I sort of grab with the same hand I'm holding the orb, fears, sort of loft him up slightly, and it's like, if you want him, <laughs> come and take him. She's going to uh, <laughs> he's he's doing a spell. He's doing banishing smite. Talking you get an uh, an attack of opportunity on Sorry, him. who's doing it? The Dark Sentinel. I'll counterspell. You... Oh, you counterspell him. Yeah, he's within 60 feet. That's fun. Yeah. He... No, he doesn't have any more. All right. He doesn't do that. Uh, counterspell. In that case, you're still going to get an attack of opportunity, uh, Torben. 
So no advantage since he has special senses, yeah. right? <laughs> 17, 17 won't cut it, I'm sorry. Yeah. So he goes up and he uh, lays into you, house. Uh, he goes attack, attack. 21 and 18. 18 doesn't hit the 21 does, I believe. All I'll right. have to double check. Yeah, my AC is 20. Um, just to check, okay. I don't have a reaction now, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, you do. That oh, was, I still do. That was a more, more cutscene moment, you know? Okay, um, sure. Fuck it. I'm going to use my last... Um, what do call it? Oh, no, I've still got a couple. Uh, so I'm going to use Crystalline Distortion to oh, um, add to my uh, add another 8 to my uh, AC. Jared fires up, blocks his attacks as he uh, tries to get through you. You are uh, you're really holding down the defense right now. You got uh, I'm going to. Uh, you're going. It's going to be Torgan now. I'm going to tell you. You now have a sphere of teleportation in your hand. You can you can use an action to cast the teleportation spell with it. All of you know this because you've seen these work before. Yeah. That means, if you can keep oust up and breathing and now that and, right there is the real challenge and and uh until it's his initiative he can radiate action to uh, cast teleport until nongo is back within reach of him well the fuck thinks nongo's going back there are you kidding me <clears throat> i'm going to hoping... tell you that that is something that will be quite obvious to your heroes right i would hope nongo was going to get joy ignatius uh, why <laughs> the fuck would I do that? <laughs> no, nah, he's dead, it's fine. Okay, so it, it is my turn. Yeah. Is it? So, it is your turn. I, I've never seen these orbs before, and I've been stuck in a cloud of poison, but I do have exceptional senses. Would I get any idea of what's happening outside? I'll say, yeah, you can you can see through your own spell. That makes sense, right? I have blind sight to 10 feet, but they are just barely further away so you would have been able to infer kind of what was happened with the sound and you know the the glimpses of of blind sense yeah okay so oust has the orb but do i see another orb on the senator uh, give me a uh, give me a perception roll i guess that you are going up there yeah all right i also need to roll against my oh, actually can, can i drop concentration before my turn comes up or am i gonna have to take the damage yeah sure you can do that if you want to drop concentration you could definitely do that yeah i'll do that go ahead and uh, give me a perception roll for free um i will you... oh god i am running so low on health i'm gonna burn I'm... another three point oh, is, is it enough or do i have to re-roll uh i'm going to i'm going to do a a, a straight uh, uh, proficient dex roll for this guy to figure out if, like, so uh, on, uh, I'm going to, on, a, on a nine or lower, you know where it is. Yeah, he, he's in that twenty. You can't, you, you don't, you don't immediately see him. One second, let me just check the wording on this. So I can re-roll when I fail the check. So can I try to re-roll to beat a thirty? Indefinitely try to re-roll to beat a 30. <laughs> it's a bit of a Hail Mary, but let's give it a go. With your clutch roll so far in this combat, you're going to... No, not quite. Almost there. Uh, you were the, one of the ones getting an inspiration earlier, right? No? Uh, no, I think it was Oust that got inspiration, right? Yeah, well, that... That hunter's uh, that hunter's mark. What is uh, that? That that net twenty from him was really uh, really clutch. Yeah, that is fair. That um, can I ready an action? I don't know if this is like too gamey, but can I ready an action to pick up the orb if Aust gets knocked down? Uh, yeah, sure. You've seen me in enough. Been you've been seen me in enough fights. I think at this point that you know that the likelihood is. <laughs> I'm going to be on the floor within the next sort of you know, 12 seconds. So. Because in that case, I will just uh, get past the Cenethal and kind of just stand ready, seeing as this might be the only chance out. I'm going to Playing be wide the... receiver. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you can definitely do that. You are preparing that. 
action. It, it, was that rest that that was all of it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, full full action to ready, and that's it. Dark initial legendary action attacks. Twenty five won't cut the uh, the crystalline distortion. Uh, that means Furo is up, Tanner. I can't hear you, man. Sorry, there's a big Luxit on near death, so yeah. let's do that. 28 for 28 plus 10, 38 damage, if 17 hits. Uh, 17 does not, but the 28 does go through. Okay. Still up? Yeah. That's his turn. All right. All of the face guys come in now. Yeah, these three gang up on you, Torgan. <clears throat> I'm going to just make one attack, uh, give it advantage, still... and double and double the damage. Oh, you still visible? I am invisible if they don't have special senses other than dark vision. In that case, I'm going to say that these guys here. All right. Let's just. So I'm going to make three attacks, and we're going to see if they're going to average them out. So that's uh, 24, 9, that's two, one miss, so that's two hits for. Uh, Ionius has 118 hit points left, so would it be fair if I just expedited Jesus. this and say he takes 70 damage? Seems so. Uh, sure, I think, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, this guy bumps into you, Torgan, takes a wild swing with disadvantage, and another one it doesn't hit you at all. This guy goes up here. These two try to attack Furo. 11, 21, 19, nat 20. Uh, 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 I guess Furo uses his... Uh... Has he got like a parry or something? I don't know. Uh, he has... He so luckily it's not a crit, so it's going to be a. Uh, can you give me a con save, please, Tanner? Uh, he's only at thirty five points left, so that would mean that he is on. How many hits was that? That was three, four. Yeah. Uh, Does he have the rope thing? No, no, no. no. The nineteen misses, so it's going to be two attacks that hits him. Yeah. Does he have the rope thing that means he can half the damage? Yeah, he got half the damage of the, so uh, he yeah, takes. So, uh, five, so three, sorry, how many attacks is he getting? Three or four? He's getting two two attacks in. Two attacks. So nineteen is going to miss. Twenty seven is definitely going to hit. Uh, so, but yeah, he'll use uh, his uh, cutting action. Technically, could he or have not used cutting action? Could uh, he have used panache to impose disadvantage on all the attack roll targets? Uh, other than you, don't worry. I take it back. It's me not reading my thing properly. Does not have panache. He has evasion. Uh, let's see. Uh, do, 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 do. So he's he going dodged? to take half of that. Yeah, he can also uncanny dodge that. So that is six plus 17, half to eight. So that's uh, 14 plus uh, 29, half to 14. So that's 28. He takes 28 damage. 28. Okay. Um, I don't know why it's this guy goes over from... here. I don't know. I'm going to. Uh, he might have the effect concentration. He just have to take it away. Uh, just delete yeah. it from him. Uh, this guy hand crossbows oust. Crystalline distortion holds. But right now your AC is 28, right? Yeah, they can't hit you yeah. for shit. Nah. Uh, that was them. Bjorn makes a death save. Uh, Brian's up. Nice. Oh wait, no. Sorry. No, but, no. No, no, no. That's just a success. It's yeah. just a success. Sorry, I, I saw, I, I I saw green, green and all, right away. I'm like, I saw ah, twenty. Yeah. <laughs> he he hasn't got like death ward for whatever reason for anything <laughs> for ages ago. Has he? Uh, no, Torgan has. No, Torgan has. It's Torgan. Okay. The assassins attack you, Oust. Let's see if they can hit you. That's an that one does. That, that one, one definitely does not. does not. Going to give me a con save. 
sure. It's a lot of damage for us. That's I'm gonna use my inspiration. For us. Yeah. That's a 16. 16 makes it. So, you take uh, 18 plus 18. You take 32 damage. 36. Okay. 18 plus 18 is 36. 36, but uh, yeah. Wasn't, oh, yeah, 36. Well, no, you, you got a crit on him, right? Yeah. So that's the. Oh, yeah. So 63. Uh... Well, the poison is half because he made the con save. Yeah, yeah, so divided by two. So that's 31 poison uh, plus 18. So it takes 49 points of damage. I'm up. 49 damage. You're out? All Just, right. but I'm up. Oh, you're up. Oh, you're up. Okay, good. I thought you said you were out. <laughs> um, it's also. Hey. Oh, yeah, I need to roll a concentration. Yeah. Uh, concentration check. I rolled a 10. I can't remember if that con no. concentrates or not. No, you're, uh, that you're, drops. Your DC is 25. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Um, um, li uh, Call Lightning is gone. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd be able to use it anymore. Yeah. Where do I do with my death saves on the sheet again? Because I. Want... You could just edit the zeros. Yeah, I can just roll d twenty, but I, I saw that uh, people like roll death saves. Click, from sheet. Yeah, click on of... click on the skull. Right in the in between yeah. the death save, click on the skull. That'll roll death save for you. That's another failure. Where's the skull? I don't see the skull. What the fuck? On your uh, on your character portrait, on Theus' sheet. Like for some reason, there is nothing for me there. Like seriously, there's no skull, nothing. I don't know what the sheet is. It's just like red. Like it's just image and red. There's no skull there. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah. Well, that's whatever. weird. I can like, show you a screenshot. Like I have a. No, it's, no, it's, it's oh. yeah, whatever. It, it, it's it's a fail. It's just it's just not there. <laughs> it's a fail. <laughs> yeah, it's a fail. All right. Uh, awesome. Theus, that was you. Oust, you're up. Okay. Uh, Nongo goes at the same time as me. Really, realistic. He doesn't. He. What's your dex modifier? Longo? Uh, zero. I have ten decks. <laughs> I'll let you. Like, I'll let you. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold my. Yeah. I'm gonna hold my action until Nongo's within ten. Is, is and anyone gonna tell to... Nongo what's going on? Because Nongo's flying away. I'm screaming. Am I? Nongo, we're fucking leaving. <laughs> and I'm holding the ball above my head, like um, <laughs> like John Cusack in uh, High Fidelity, just above my head. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna fucking drop it like it's hot the moment he's within ten feet of me, and I'm gonna take everyone. I, I'm 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 mildly tempted to try and take the dark senator with me as well, but I'd... also the other. Well, thing... you, can't, you can't take okay. unwilling people with you. Maybe he right. wants to go along. <laughs> Are we assuming that Bjorn would be willing if he was if he was conscious? You can you can take unconscious people with you without their consent. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Without the right. consent. Um, <laughs> yeah. In which case, I am waiting for Nongle We're to live. be like within ten feet of me, and then I'm doing whatever I need to do with this ball. Uh, yeah, I'll move here. Uh, whatever. I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to uh, dash down here. Something. 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 Cool. I'm, I'm, yeah. And in that case, I'm. <laughs> doing whatever I need to do to activate this uh this glue. Drop it like a salt. Yep. I, 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 I'm do, you, do you have to yeah. destroy it? What what do you do? With no, this? you just activate it. Okay. Um and I'm gonna try and teleport us onto the Nomad Levitator. Who which is currently in Blimey Bay. In Blimey Bay. But specifically that's the focus because I know the Nomad Levitator better than I know Blimey Bay. <clears throat> I don't know if the glue is fine, but I'll say because it's your home, sure. If not, then I can teleport us onto the boat if it's still there, the ship that we were on. <laughs> I'll, like I'll we allow working. the Nomad Levitator. Okay. You see frustrated screams as the as the uh, the Loxodon hand missing that swings out for you. You see Noggle coming in on the boom. Screaming voicelessly in the uh, in the air, Theus and Bjorn barely holding on, and Furo desperately clinging to uh, to Bjorn as darkness roils out. <laughs> as right the, as the magic works, I just look at the dark center shell and just go like that. And then... <laughs>
single, a single, a single figure pierces through the darkness as you then all disappear. Sorry, and you John. land safely <laughs> back at the Nomad Levitator. I also Three, have this this five. elf with us, by the way. Yeah, I was like, I'll just take him with us. He's in the he's in range, so yeah. He's still his ground. He, he deserves it. He does. As long as Theus is with us, I'm happy. Theus is with everybody. you. Good. I think we have everybody. We do have everybody, right? Yeah, everybody. You're, cool, right. you're, you're not missing anyone. Ignatius is dead, right? Oh, are, he, he, are we taking that half elf guy? If he wasn't, then he probably is now. Are, are we? Are we taking this guy here? Or we just leave? Yeah. Him? Are we gonna take him? All right. He was within <laughs> ten feet of me, and he was well in. All right, yeah, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't I take him if I had the river? No, <laughs> so I, I, I don't know, just fucking know what the guy is. I mean, he's just some fucking guy, right? So. You appear in the Levitator. One second, you just see, like, we cut to the Nomad Levitator. We see uh, Nick. Uh, <laughs> we see uh, uh, Nick Agnes just sitting, uh, steaming hot, nice cup of tea, just quietly sipping it. Then, whoop, just bleeding out barbarian, crashes the couch, tea goes everywhere. Theus is uh, is lying on the on the ground. Uh, everything is um, just kitchen's in disarray. Kitchen is, 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 is now. What the god dang no hell is going on here? Honey, are, we're there, home. are there any more potions on Theus? Uh, yeah, it's all right. I will <laughs> dump Torgan. a potion down. No, 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 no. Torgan, it's your turn. I have a really interesting solution. Technically, yeah. the amulet of the drone card is not an attunement item. So could I just press it against the ears and then force feed him the clam knock to heal him? No. No. Oh my god, you're gonna try the guy clam knock. No. You, 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 you uh, have to you, you have to, you have to oh, do that. so Roar, after I get back, I still have my bonus action after the teleport, so I'll bonus action healing word um but it was uh, a ready action. You still time. muted. What? You're still muted. Oh fuck. But okay, I will. In, uh, can I just because I don't have any potions? Can I just try to stabilize him? Like actually try sure. physically. Go stop ahead and eating? go ahead and give me a medicine check. Are we still in uh, thinking, Bob? Now? Yeah, we uh, are. We are doing death saves until you figure this out. Oh, Do you yeah. stabilize these. Eighteen. I probably still, I probably still, I probably still try the Glamlock trick because yeah. I'm not sure if it works. So I'm like <laughs> feeding it to him. I think it's working, guys. I, I feel like if if it's going to work on anybody, it work on Bjorn. <laughs> You uh, you stabilize Theus. What does Furo do? Bjorn is still bleeding out. And Furo take my peeling potions uh, from me. I still have one. I, I don't think Furo necessarily know where you keep your potions unless you're like keeping them on your belt. I don't know. Like, do I keep? I, I would say I'm having them in my back. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm not someone Whatever. who walks around peeling potions. Uh, Bjorn, I would say Bjorn's tries up. To stable... Bjorn's up, so Bjorn could do it. It's fine. No, Bjorn is not. Bjorn is also on uh, death saves. Didn't uh, Torgan just heal Bjorn? No, that was Theus. No, that was Theus. Yeah, uh, people bleeding out. He oh. tries to uh, stabilize Bjorn. He fails. Bjorn makes another death save. Mouth to mouth. That's another success. He is still uh, not out of the woods yet. Theus! I'm unconscious. He's still unconscious, so it's Aust. Aust, what do you do? Um, sorry, so who's still unconscious? Bjorn. Bjorn, I will attempt to try and stabilize him. Which is going to be ahead. tricky considering I have no medical experience whatsoever. What am I doing for that? Is that a medicine check? Medicine oh, roll DC 15. Disadvantage is a big source too. That's a 12, so yeah, either way. Which is not. Um, just... Pardon? Medicine 10 is for stabilizing. It was yeah. enough. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, it's DC 10. Your... That's with the med kit. No, oh, med, kit is, with... no, med, help. med kit is without. No, med kit is without. What should I do? Uh, Ionius uh, does the help action. Uh, so the next one who tries to stabilize Bjorn will get advantage. Uh, Dongle, you're up. Yeah, I'll just. Wait. Uh, medicine ten is uh, medicine ten is success. I don't know what's what. No, it is a fifteen without a healing kit. Without a healing kit, you need a healing kit. Oh, healing kit is automatically. I thought. Wait, oh, what? But otherwise, it's DC fifteen. 
27. Yeah, Noggle, you're fucking great. You managed to stop the bleeding. You, uh, you get it. You're safe. For now. That was a real bleak moment there, guys. And uh, we'll pick up from what happened here in two weeks, next session. Uh, <laughs> 32nd session of some sort of I hope you uh, you guys had fun. I really wanted to turn on this the, thumb, the thumb screws for this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> 30 uh, sessions and it finally paid off. <laughs> finally. <laughs> You got God, what's up with most... Alex? You just you just rolled two twenties in a row. What the fuck, yeah, dude? I, I, and then um, and then I rolled max on my um superiority die. Okay, oh, just it. for the Chris Lad as well. Someone's banking things. <laughs> you are. That was incredibly lucky. That was two natural twenties from us, yeah. That was. I knew when I made this encounter. This is an unfair. Fight. It's not like you wouldn't you would, like you would die if you tried to stand and fight, right? Yeah. And that you was really down to the wire. Like, well, I mean, we haven't had a long rest in like what three sessions, four yeah. sessions. So <laughs> I'm the only one that's been out of regain spell slots <laughs> for the last yeah. like four days. And you fucking fucked my shit again. I have one second level <laughs> spell slot left. <clears throat> You've got to work out how one what how one handed elephant. Yeah, 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 like he's going to be super pissed at you guys. Yeah. Also, the expenses on losing that teleportation ball is awful. Yeah. Now also, we have now, to teleport. Now we so have a fun. teleportation ball. Ho ho ho! Like we're like we're in dire. If, if, if you can figure out uh, how to recharge it, sure. Right. So I hope you can forgive me for being rough on you guys, but I wanted to. I thought that was uh, that was very, very exciting. Sunday. Well, I didn't get knocked on conscious that session, so... Oh, sorry, Rory, nice you were trying to be rough? I thought we just kicked your ass. Yeah, didn't yeah, you? Oh! Oh, oh shots <laughs> fired! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> no, Rory, that was great. Thank you so much, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Oh, that was... That was unreal. Like, that was fucking unreal. I can't believe you just came out of that so fucking luckily. That was... That was fucking great. Damn. I mean, we did leave a poor old band on the steps of that. <laughs> yeah. There was uh, someone else there. All of, you, all of you could go ahead and level up. Nice. Ooh, I don't even know what level 15 Warlock does. Hang on. I also just want to point out, it was not just leave an old man. You yeeted an old man 100 feet into the air with reverse gravity. Hey, hey. I didn't yeet yeah. anybody. No, no, no. I yeet. We did not negotiate with terrorists. Uh... This, like, if he just would never negotiate with face, he knows what, like, they, they are fucked up. I get my eight from Arkham. Alright guys, we're about 20 uh, minutes past, let's uh, wrap it up. Yeah. Thank um, you all for watching, thank you all of you guys for playing, it has been a, it was, wow, it was a wild ride today. That definitely made it up for the last uh, missing session, so thank you all. Um, uh, thank you as always to, uh, to the lovely people who help us make the show, Foundry, for doing these things. All of the nice ambient music that you've been hearing in the background uh, is uh, Michael Gelfi, so uh, thanks for you. The maps have been uh, said PQ, uh, C-Z-E-P-E-K-U. Uh, you can find them on, uh, on Patreon. You can also find us on Patreon. There's no benefits other than, uh, I guess, uh, getting <laughs> tenor money. Bragging rights. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> it it <laughs> buys me hard drives just to, to back up our videos. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terror goes to the liquor store, he buys a beer, he writes your name on it, and then he'll drink it in silence. Uh, <laughs> money well spent. <laughs> you, you know, we could do it as much as you want to Patreon. This could be scotch, not necessarily just, just beer, but okay. Yeah, and, and for each of you who does that, he has to drink one beer, so you might kill him if you really want to pull your resources. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, thank you as always for Nick, our IT guy. Nick was so great to just uh, renew all of our certificates and all these kind of things uh, recently. So thank you as always, Nick. You are uh, you are an integral part of making this uh, possible. You, it has been uh, it is it is always a, a great pleasure. Thank you for today. I am exhausted emotionally and mentally from doing these kind of things. I need to go and get a hug from someone. <laughs> <laughs> hug your gnome. Hug your local uh, home, guys. Hug your local <laughs> gnome. Don't mess. Don't mess with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, with, with terrorists. And, uh, and remember to. Uh... 
I guess. Remember, <laughs> the kids, that's the best yeah, yeah, yeah. Rora's tired. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Remember, kids, don't mess with terrorists. Don't mess with terrorists. Like and, uh, don't, we don't we'll negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> and, uh, and all of you guys, uh, take care. Until we see you next time. All right. Yeah. Goodbye, ding-dongs. Bye-bye, ding-dongs. Bye-bye.